Well, hello, hello, what's going on, everybody? My name's Fred. Welcome to the Family Cost. How you guys doing? It's good to see you. It is Sunday. Uh, me and Emily went for a giant walk, and it was great. Chat. Well, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? So Florence is in her little house. Hey, bud. You gonna come say hello? You gonna come say hello? Up here, then. Come on. Come on, little cat. See, she's here to say hello. She's here to say hello, chat. Guys, make sure you say hello back. So be polite. Hello, Flo. How are you today? Did you have a nice day? Yes? Did you have a nice day? Little tiny cat. <gasps> Little tiny cat. Fred, you trained her well? She's not... No. She has been Pavloved to the nth degree. I'm not gonna lie. She's just gotten used to her little routine. A little tiny routine for a little tiny cat. There it is. I look at Brian Caden flexing with their tier three high emote. <laughs> a little flexing. Just, just, just casually just throwing it out, out there. She knows stream means treats occasionally. Occasionally. Boop. Chat. Everyone, say hello to Flo. Oh. Oh. So do that thing where you put your hand out and uh, you see what your cat does. <laughs> Just didn't know what to do. <laughs> uh, hey, friend, what time is it? It's giveaway time. I was going to press the button. Ain't no one here, ain't a sub. Literally, there's not anyone here who's not a sub right now. Enjoy. Tier two, tier three. The time is late, Dean. Yeah, I went for a big walk. I've still kind of got like a little background headache from yesterday, but whatever. Gonna play some video games today, gonna have a good time. Last time I was tier three for a while, Brian Caden does it is perfectly fine. Honestly, I'm just gonna say this right now. I know sometimes people are like, oh, I can't tier three this month. I'm like, but you tier, it's, it's fine. Like that, tier, that month of tier three will always be there. You know what I mean? So I appreciate it very much. Oh, big neck scratch. Big, guys, if you want to win a free game, type an exclamation mark, enter for your tier two and tier three subs. I don't even worry about it. You'll, uh, uh, you'll automatically enter into the giveaways. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, what up, little cat? But yeah, chat, how's everyone else doing today? Guys, do you have, and I feel like we're getting back into sort of swing of things, where I can start being like, chat, has anyone got any... Oh, good news anyone, I should say. Who's got some good news for me? I mean, actual good news. Every now and again, with good news, someone get dropped some really bad news, and I just have to be like... Pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Did an amazing uh I did an amazing event at Sea of Thieves that I highly recommend you and Emily do as well. It was glorious. What event? What event? Dean's been working on cool things. I think Dean did a little tweet about that. I actually need to retweet that tweet. I nearly missed it. Because Dean missed me last night, but I was uh headaching at the time. I um this means nothing to a lot of you guys. I finished my outline yesterday. Uh, I had a headache and I went and laid in the bed. And in a random wave of inspiration, I f f like managed to outline pretty much the, my entire plot, which is pretty good. Adiv, congratulations. Adiv, you won. Grip, combat racing. Florence, do you like combat racing? Yeah, Florence likes combat racing. Jeff, congratulations to Adiv. Well done, Adiv. Congratulations. But yeah, chat, I think I'm going to play some Sea of Thieves today. A, uh, a, 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 a king, king, you know what? I, I struggle with the first part of your name. Brackus, how's it going, dude? That's a really good game. I've never heard of it. So good. I'm glad it's a good, good game. The Glitterboard event. There is a combination for it. It doesn't yield go uh, gold and so on, but a fantastic tribute to a deceased rare employee from last year. Uh, so it was released on the one year of his death. Ah, well, that's kind of... Okay, maybe we'll try it. I'm not sure if I'm uh, in the mood for death, <laughs> but maybe we'll try it. 
But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty chuffed. Like last night, even though I had a headache, I still got a couple of bits done. Pretty proud of that. Uh, went, went, went really well. Uh, but yeah, guys, there's a, bit, there's a little, couple of things been happening in the news recently. Um, there was actually something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Hey, yo, Phantom Lady Gaming coming over the 14 months. Pointed at the wrong camera. That's still good. Hey, Dodo, good news is that I got my new internet connection last week, and I finally have more than 25 megabit connection. Nice. Good. 25 megabits is too slow. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, one day... I've got my like little soundboard open. I was just like, one day, one day, I'm going to move somewhere and the internet's going to not just work perfectly all the time. And I'm going to sit there in my chair and just be like, it's just not the one, is it? It's just not the one. Hey, Keenan, how's it going, my brother? How are you doing? Uh, there was something in the news that I wanted to discuss with you guys. And I can't find it now. Um, where is it? It was actually pretty interesting. So the young, uh, the young female Japanese biker, who's actually a 50-year-old man, if you guys didn't see this, it's bloody hilarious. Uh, this is the same person, by the way. Just, just so you know, same person. In case you guys are wondering. In case you're wondering, same person. So basically, this dude rides, rides, his, uh, rides his Yamaha, and he was like, well, no one really wants to see uh, an uncle like riding around his mo on his motorbike, so he fo he uses a filter just to make himself into a woman. How? Phones. Phones are crazy now, dude. But yeah, as you can tell, it is his hair. So this is like 200 IQ. I mean, to be honest, why the fuck not? Like this, this does this does this girl exist? No. Does it matter? No. Were you ever gonna meet her anyway? No. It's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. It's perfectly fine. I think it's funny. Uh, a lot of people, I saw a lot of people be like, this is outrageous. There needs to be laws against this. And it's like, no, man, there doesn't need to be laws against this. This is fine. This is actually a-okay. Don't even worry about it. Just don't, just don't, just don't, just don't fetishize every woman you see. Just don't like absolutely just make every single woman you see into a sexual object and you'll be fine. I thought it was hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs> Um, where was it? I was something that was. Uh, so I think they're making a new. You know, so they had Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, right? Which is that really good game with the Ginger Jedi, which is kind of, you know, ugh, Ginger. No, I'm kidding. Um, Ginger Joe, yeah, man. Um, they're making a new. I think they're making a sequel to that game, which is very exciting. We're sort of in a video game drought right now, it feels like. There's nothing really interesting to play. So there was Valheim, which was amazing, but only has a, has a set amount you can do, and that's it. And Yo, Volvo Go, long time no see, 16 months. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order was good, so good. It was so good. I love that game. I, th I played the first one. I think for, for the sequel, I think Emily will play. And Emily's better at those, those games than me anyway. She's better at rolling around and slicing and dicing. Hey, up, Em. Oh my god, it'd be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> you were just Theresa Maying your way in the sun. <laughs> Jedi falling over. That's what I'm saying. It's always on the floor, rolling the bat, isn't he? Harm Harmless nuts. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Lawrence. Lawrence. You gotta cheer up, cat. <laughs> <laughs> the little like she's so grumpy. Why are you so grumpy? Mm, because I grab. Did I touch the paw? It was illegal. I shouldn't. Uh... Why is there a peeler here? I ate like three kiwis last night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh. I will take responsibility. For the erroneous peeler. Um, there was a lot of kiwis and they needed to be consumed. So, yeah. I feel like I want to put in a jumper or something. Feel my hand. It's cold. Are you cold? Yeah, you're pretty cold. Do you feel my level of coldness? Mm -hmm. I go find a shirt. Because that's my usual, you know, T-shirt with a shirt over. Gives you that indoors-outdoors experience. Hey, endless days. Ooh. Um, Twitch it. Megan, stop bullying me. These, these too many items. I'm fine. Um, number one, 
Hi, Alpha John. Alpha um, John. 75 months. Is life treating you well? How are you? I feel like I haven't seen you and talked to you in ages. Uh, What's up? Hi. Two, Suits Up Johnny asked, question, best holiday? Mm, I think so, we both have the same answer. Well. For me, it's Sorrento. Sorrento was one of the best holidays Ooh, I have ever been of. on. All right. But when I was a little kid. Ah, yes. Right, and I was little. Eight um, pictures. My grandma. So we didn't have a ton of money. The only holiday that I had been on when I was little were these to like holiday parks, you know, like mm-hmm. Pontins, Butlins and all of its various knockoffs. Or I once went to Portugal. So, um, you know, I hadn't done that much holidaying. And then when I was like seven or eight, um, my grandma sold her house that she lived in that was like big and it moved into a much smaller house. And it was in one of those areas of London that used to be like whatever, but then got quite expensive. Now that house is worth like bang, 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 bang. bang right. Yeah. But, um, oh man, that house is worth yeah, money now. But like back in the day, it, it, it had gone up a lot. So yeah. she sold it and bought like a nice smallish house. And then used, like, put that money to one side and she used it for, like, being old. Um, yo, oh, no. oh, nuts. nuts. Oh, my God. Dropping five gifted subs. And starting a game giveaway. Damo, um, Fipperdop, North Light, Well Armed Reaper, and Bruce Cooper. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Mug Life. Life. Welcome, Welcome to the Way of the Dragon Flex. Guys, we please. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm Dean. a creep. Dean's such a sneaky little bitch. Shay Mister, is it your birthday? Happy birthday. Happy Let's see birthday, if it's working. Shay. So, my grandma put most of the money to one side for being old, you know, as one does. But she took us all on holiday to St. Lucia. And I spent two weeks it on a fucking tropical island. And I got to go into the rainforest. I got to do, because I'm a super nerd, I got to do like a day at school <laughs> in one of their schools and um, oh learn some patois. <laughs> you went to school ah, on I holiday. School. I had a really good time. It was really cool. You went to um, school on don't holiday. Talk to me, okay, it was cool. Um, it wasn't like regular school. I got to like, you know, hang out, see what was up going on there, graduate school on holiday. Shut up, leave me alone. Okay. Um, I got to race crabs. I was on the beach. You guys I went up a volcano. Do you, do you guys now understand why I call Emily a boffin? That's just bullying. No, <laughs> fuck you. Um, Bodrick. Leave me in peace. It was lit and the food was all inclusive. And I ate bananas right off the tree. It was so good. Anyway, so it was Chat, that was or it was when we went to Sorrento, which was so good, so fun. Had the best time. Ha ha. Shut up. Um... So thank you, Dean. Thank you, Harmless Nuts. The rest of you are dead to me. Well, that's rude. Um, yeah, Sorrento was was really, 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 really good. It was a, such a good holiday. Um, I think that's probably my favorite holiday. Almost certainly. Holiday excelling your house, take your gangers on holiday. That's uh no, that's no, no, no. It was just coincidental, suited up, Johnny. So that's what did you not hear? I literally gave this whole story context. So you guys wouldn't think my grandma sold her house to take us on holiday. She was selling her big house. It like didn't have mm-hmm. in so she hey, was like one of those. Lethal League Blaze. Harmless nuts. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. You're the best. Shay, Mr. Coming in. 36 months. Three. Damn! <laughs> so this is it was one of those houses, right? That it was like nice, but it was like You got a little party hat and chat, so he thought it was your birthday. Oh. Oh. Oh, why do you have the party hat? I feel like the birthday, well, they the can birthday put, thing is... They can put in whatever date they want, can't they? Are you lying? Well, Show he, Mister. He's put, he's put in his sub anniversary as his birthday. Okay, fine. That's his prerogative, man. It's my prerogative. Fine, I respect it. Um, but basically, uh, well, the point was, um, she basically had this <clears> big house that her and my great-grandma used to share, but then my great-grandma couldn't live at home anymore and so she was in this big house and it didn't have central heating and it was like big and old and like probably had like windows that were like one glaze and it was like big and old and cold and expensive Mm -hmm. and needed loads of updating which she couldn't afford so she was like right i'm gonna sell it some like poshos bought it and you know did all that stuff themselves and then she just bought a house that was like small and like had insulation so yeah most of the money she actually put into like 
uh, you know, one of those bonds and stocks and shit. Ah, yes. But then that got they lost over. all the money. Yeah. But she was still all right, I guess. I don't really know. I mean, she, she, she was she fine. had um, money and comfort up and, you know, all the way through. Yeah. Uh, so, but, but saw, they, then she just took us a little hot day and it was fucking lit. I end. saw Say Bossy being like, oh, new, uh, you guys are glowing. New lights, I imagine. Actually, um, kind of, but not really. Actually, mm-hmm. just, um, I've, I, I now know more about cameras and I adjusted Fred the camera settings. Dingle, j- jiggled the camera. And it's Wait. much nicer, I think. Yeah, what do you guys think? I wish I put on more makeup today. Why? So that I would have more makeup on. No, because <laughs> no, I feel like saying, like, what do you guys think? But I feel like I look a bit worse than I usually do. I don't think you do. Maybe, maybe not. It's difficult. I, um, so, yeah, basically, um, got the, I got the, I figured, I basically know how to, I know how to camera better. That's basically what Looks happened. great, yeah. Camera adjustment. But also, I think we pop from the background a lot more. Fred's trying to make the the <clears> camera <throat> do more of the work because I got an aura migraine yeah. this week, and he, Fred and like having loads of lights in your eyes is bad. So then Fred was like, "I'm going to try and not have so many lights in your well, eyes." It's kind of one of the things where I would love to have it where we just didn't have any lights on at all. But then I look a little bit spooky. It's like we're getting spooky. Spooky, right? yeah, we don't get spooky. Turn it back on, Fred. Emperor quick. Fox, twenty-seven months. months. You've changed your name. Haven't you? Admit well, it. Emperor Fox has definitely changed the name. I don't admit it. That's the first time that name subscribed to my stream. Twenty-seven months. Well, I might have one thousand two hundred and eleven subscribers. But I know but I, every one of you by name. I do. Because we're nerds. Isn't that weird <laughs> that we do that? That's so I weird. know. If you subbed here before, okay. Yeah. Don't have me on. So I like the name though. It's yeah. nice. Uh, visuals are looking solid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I believe it. Maybe. Maybe not. Good. Yeah, I'll never know. Okay, you can be a new identity if you want. Are you like, you put on like a wig and you're like, no one will ever know who I am. Hang on, I clicked on your name. How's that going to help? Oh, no. Well, they're going to be like, hello, it is me, old name. Woogly gifted a sub to see stuff, Johnny. Boogles. Boogles. Yay. Uh, Woo. Gifting sub to Johnny. Sub Johnny. Welcome back to the Mug Life. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the way of the Dragonflex. And we go. Thank Woo. you very much for the 116 gifted subs in the stream. Uh, good news. I got my second second dose of vaccine today. Nice. Within nice. two weeks, you'll be impenetrable to virus. Yes. I mean, you know, one of them. But fuck uh, it. That's a good that's one. Really good. Yeah. No. They're, apparently, they're going to run out of vaccine in the UK. Why are we? I don't. Why? Because we used it. We we jabbed people too quickly. And no, really? Yeah. No. I watched a. I don't believe it. What's the truth? Give well, it's, me called, the... it's called it's called the, the vaccination debt, and now we're paying back the debt, and then it's going. So will everyone be? We're still on course to have everyone vaccinated by July. But what happened? We jabbed two. We, it's a jab every twenty-seven seconds. Em. That's nice, but none of them have gone into me. No, none of them. Went Zero to me for me. Uh, you are the only version of you to ever exist in the universe. Well, so far as we know. Uh, <laughs> you are great. You are powerful. You are special. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank that. You. Um, There's no scientific evidence for what you said, but I appreciate it. I like the <laughs> energy of it. Um, In debt to vaccines, or, you know, sort of like the debt of, like, we can only have, have so many, right? You haven't got your jab? Neither of us have. No, we're, like, last in the queue. Basically, I think if you're under 50 right now, most people don't have to jab unless you're so, high risk. Yeah, basically, I'm neither high risk nor old. <clears throat> contrary to popular belief so um yeah i i just have we the way that we're doing it in the uk is that um we actually have a really high vaccine uptake which is great most people want a vaccine uh want to have one so what they're doing is they're going through based on your risk of like getting seriously ill or dying of covid Mm -hmm. so we've done like the 90 year olds and the 80 year olds and 70 year olds and 60 year olds we're down into fifties and forties now, and also people who are younger but are high risk. Um, so you know, suppressed immune systems, certain illnesses, um, cancer, stuff like that. Um, uh, I mean, I hate to say it. I mean, I might do some exercises today, but I am overweight. No, yeah. But I'm not overweight enough. That's the important thing. Well, that's the kind of thing. Is like over being okay. So the weird thing about being overweight, right? Is overweight is just your your risk potential for getting various yes. uh, sicknesses. The thing is that me and Emily are both overweight, but we don't have any of the things that, over, you know, we don't have any of the... Don't think they've the started the 40s yet. That's fair. I think it also varies place by place. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So basically they've already done the people who are like vulnerable, high underlying health conditions, like really said, but now they're looking at people who are like higher risk. So like it would potentially hit you harder. 
Um, so seven... I personally think at some point we should start considering who's likely to spread what. Because at the end of the day, while I definitely want to be vaccinated ASAP, I don't see anyone. My risk of getting it and spreading it and having it badly are all pretty low. Yeah. So, like, I'm basically at the end. Yeah, I think they're in the 50s right now, right? <clears throat> but basically what I was saying was they're working their way... I was trying to, you know, 90, 80, 70, we're going down. Hey, Ginny. Um, Ginny, yo, what up? But, um, yeah. yeah, so yeah, but Sophie's getting hers on the 25th, which is thumbs up. Um, and then. Yeah, they've got a website uh, where you can just say, I would like a vaccine. And then they'll just tell you if you can get one. Yeah. My, um, and they told Sophie she could, but. Uh, it told us to fuck off, basically. It was like, you out of here. And I was like, yeah, be a vibe about. Three million. <laughs> I was like, roughly, I've calculated my BMI and it just said, oh no. At which point they get you right in and jab you up. Um, no, so it's fine. Like, I would much rather, and it seems much more important. Multimedia. Um, hey, nice. well, we kept you on Twitch, so that's a good thing. Good. Yay! I have someone high risk. She's getting a second uh, jab next week. Mm -hmm. Me in my 30s, no clue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only bad thing is that they don't know whether if you have the jab, whether you're still a spreader or not. So even if you're double vaccinated up, you can't just start going outside you, if you live with someone. But you know Fred's a spreader. Have you looked at him? Spreading everywhere. That's just racist. Kidding. What? Against what? I don't know. Romany gypsies. We're spreading. <laughs> I'll accept it. I'll take that. I'm a shit lord. I was like, I don't see it. I wanted but, to yeah. ask you guys something, right? Yeah. So... Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Were you going to say that? No, Woogly was like, what website's that? I can't remember. I'll try and get uh, Sophie to tell me. Net. Oh, what, it's the NHS yeah, website. Yeah, yeah. Just go you know, type Can into I Google. Can I get a vaccine? NHS coronavirus vaccine eligibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I saw this thing where it's like Kylie Jenner, who makes $19,000 an hour. Apparently her uh, her assistant, um, her, her makeup artist has a $60,000 surgery. She got in a car crash. She got in a car crash. She has Cars a $60,000 uh, injury. Kylie Jenner, literal billionaire, um, put up a GoFundMe for her assistant. And was like, oh yeah, you guys can contribute. And she put five grand into it. Now, think about this, right? She put five grand into it. Now, obviously, Kylie Jenner could pay, when you've got billions of pounds or a billion pounds or whatever, you can pay any amount of money without it affecting you whatsoever. So you can't ever really draw a comparison between us and Kylie Jenner or you guys and Kylie Jenner because at the end of the day, like, even if it cost her, like, half an hour of your wages, <clears throat> right, which is what she gave up because she yeah. gave five grand. Yeah. But she, well, she earns 20K an hour. So she gave up 15 minutes worth of money to her makeup artist, right? Yep. That being said, that 15 minutes worth of money actually still means more to you, even though to you, it's only like three quid or something. Do you know what I mean? Even though it's only like a small amount of money, that actually has more knock-on effect in your life yeah, than her with five grand. Because things cost more. Yes. Because basically, so, when you, when, for, for, for us, right, 15 minutes of money actually doesn't buy as much as her 15 minutes of money. Like, she can literally buy a car with her 15 minutes of money, and we can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's one of those things where, like, if you're down three quid, well, maybe that means that you didn't get, like, yeah. some eggs and bread that you were going to eat for breakfast, you know? And yeah, not all but, dollars are equal. But, what you know, I know we can't draw that analogy, but essentially, if you are on a, say you're making £20 an hour, which is a lot of money, right? Like, £20 an hour is like, ooh, fucking wages, mate. That's like giving a fiver. <sighs> Honestly, she could... Three hours of her money could uh -huh. have been... She's probably like, I don't know, mm -hmm. man. I don't know, man. The rich, dude. Mm -hmm. Chat, eat them. Mm -hmm. Eat them. Mm -hmm. Grab them. Eat them. Isn't it crazy? And it makes me laugh because people are always like, oh, billionaires are philanthropists. They give up money. They do this. Can you even imagine? She could have like, everyone was like, but she could have paid for the healthcare, bought her a new car, sent her on holiday. She wouldn't have even noticed. But also, okay. You know? It's not even like that she has an obligation mm. to do it, right? But right. just think about this, chat. If someone, if you had... Mm -hmm. Okay, for instance, right? If you were standing there mm -hmm. and you had a hundred pounds, right? You had a hundred dollars in your hand, mm -hmm. and you saw someone, and they were like, "Oh man, it would be absolutely life changing if you can give me a penny." And you went, "No." Yeah, you'd be well, like, "Would you do like?" And yeah. it was someone that you knew. Say it was like your next door neighbor, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Yo, you could actually change my life for a pound mm -hmm. for like uh, one penny." 
And you've got you're, you're, you've literally got hundred dollars in your hand yeah. right there. And the disrespect that Kylie Jenner is mostly famous for her makeup. Yeah. Her makeup line is where she makes money, and therefore <clears throat> her makeup artist has a huge impact on her brand. Yeah. Her makeup artist is really deciding how most people day to day wear their makeup. She is out there like making new, making new like fashion trends, and. Now it's just, it's just like, obviously the makeup artist will get the sixty grand, but it's it's ridiculous to be like, yo, all of you people who can't afford it, donate, mm-hmm. and me who is fifteen minutes of my money, I'm not, I'm gonna only give a little like I'm gonna give like nothing. I'm it's gonna... insane to me, it's like disgusting, dude. It's actually crowdfunding for treatment is not something you'd expect to do if you are close with a billionaire, like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Philbert. If an hour of my wages can change someone's life, you know I'm spending that money. No, it's insane. It's completely unhinged. And the thing is, yeah, sure, her fans, if they all give $5, would be more than 65000 But not only does this person not necessarily need more, they just need to know that that 65000 is there, mm-hmm. right? You are also asking people who likely don't have very much money to give money to someone they've never met, and then someone that you know and you care about, you won't help them. It's crazy. Just to give you guys a perspective mm-hmm. of how um, how much a billion is, right? Because mm-hmm. Kylie Jenner is a billionaire, right? Mm-hmm. Just just so you guys are kind of with me on this one. Um, a million seconds mm-hmm. is 11 and a half days. Yeah. A billion seconds is 31 years. Just so you understand like where we're the, coming from. The difference, yeah. It's... Oh my God, GoFundMe is a US, the US's biggest insurance provider. <gasps> I mean, that's not even an insurance mm. provider, is it? That's the US's biggest insure, like medical care payment scheme because everyone's paying more when they're paying not via an insurance company because insurance companies get better deals. Yeah, we're closer to, I'm, mm. I'm closer to being a millionaire than Kylie Jenner is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is like funny. Well, you know, really you know what away. it's like, Jack. You know what it's like. I mean, honestly, we're all just sitting here, just rolling in it. Um, but it is yeah. crazy to me that she's such a, just a bitch, really. When Jeff just, Bezos set up a fund where you could donate to support Amazon workers mm-hmm. affected by COVID, that was, it's just like, it's, are you taking the piss? Are you... Li- oh, it, he is. He is taking the piss. No, it's just, why is... Uh, uh, it's... It's a cost system. It's a cost. Is it- what would you do first with a billion dollars? Okay, so I don't know anything about what you're actually supposed to do when you have a billion of anything, right? Let alone, like, I have no idea. If you just said, right, you now have a billion dollars, I guess probably the first thing I would do, like... Speak to an accountant? No, I mean, before, like, <laughs> before, like speaking to an accountant... Before buying a house, before I don't fucking know, calculating how any of this shit works. If if it was just like, what what fun thing would you like to do? I would personally, and I know we've done a charity stream for them before. I'd like to go onto Watsy and pay for everybody's medical care. So if you guys have never seen Watsy, we did a fundraising charity stream for them once, um, and basically they. Um, mm. they help people in countries where like you don't have health insurance you don't have national health and stuff like that um, fund their <clears> healthcare <throat> and we give them money every month anyway and also you get and, and from like a purely like selfish perspective you get a little um, update when it's done and they're like oh you know that lady like fucking from Cambodia who broke her arm yeah, and she's like yay my arm's fixed and it's really nice and I love it and I know you could probably do you could probably take that money and do something way more like impactful but I feel like the helping individuals is nice do you know what I mean I like that Dre, I, I d- dude I feel you mm-hmm. I feel you mm-hmm. we Europeans feel you I feel you man I've seen people online uh, recently because TikTok has actually got like a whole um, segment of like right leaning people on it which is quite weird right mm-hmm. and I think it's a way of basically kind of like trying to get like people on their side of thinking and I saw this one guy being like, you go to the UK, the NHS, you got hour long queues, you got you got three months to see a doctor. And I was like, never taken me three months to see a doctor. I don't know no. what you're talking about, mate. 
I um, mean, it really depends on the situation, doesn't it? But like, you can't yeah. deny that everybody having access to well, healthcare is better. The numbers, the numbers don't lie. You can do yeah. all this, like all this, like uh, mental math, and you can do all this, like kind of like not mental math, mental gymnastics mm. and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, numbers don't lie. The Amer- the United States is uh, healthcare. Healthcare is, just worse. is you know. Yeah. Um, well, it's really weird as well because they're like, <laughs> you have to wait, and I'm like, okay, well, if you go exactly. to A and E, which is Accident and emergency. Yeah, what do you guys call that? Uh, the emergency room. emergency room. If you go to the emergency room at a peak time, doesn't matter how things are being paid for, if it's busy, you have to sit there. They also triage you based on what you've done. So if you've sprained your ankle really bad, you'll sit there for a while until they've got a nurse who's going to put a thing on you and yeah. give you some anti-inflammatories and give you some crutches. But if you come in like you've just impaled yourself with your secateurs in your arm and you're spurting blood everywhere, you'll go through first. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So, Jack, when I go over, if you ever come into a lot mm-hmm. of money, if you ever come into a lot, like a lot, when I say a lot of money, I mean like a million plus, right? All right, first job, disappear. Temporarily, <laughs> get an Airbnb somewhere, mm-hmm. use your phone, to, like make a new account on your phone. Don't, don't make it so no one can find mm-hmm. out where you are. Um, pay using uh, like some other form of like, if you have PayPal, maybe use that or something something that's secure where they can't just run up the bank and ask disappear go go and move out in the middle of nowhere because you are most most likely as an individual to get your chance of getting murdered go up like 50 times when you win a lottery yeah right? like more so, than that even um it's so, bad yeah so go uh go and um uh disappear for a bit yeah talk to an accountant right you, you pay like you just be like right how i've just somehow magical money has happened do i need to pay income tax on magical money Probably yes. Um, so then you sort all that shit out, right? You sort all that shit out, and then so murderers you are usually yourself. your family. Uh-huh. So they kill you either out of jealousy or most likely out of a mixture of jealousy and hope that they will get money when you die. Also, the idea is your family. Uh, the idea is that they can impersonate you enough to basically get you uh, uh, get get your money get your money to their account, and then they disappear. They go, you know, they take it all out in cash and then fuck off to India or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they- like when people have got the opportunity, basically people will do pretty psycho stuff for money. Um, that being said, I would avoid spending as much money as possible, at least initially, because the trouble is, right, you buy a big house, you buy a big car, and you blah, 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 blah. All those things now need maintenance. They mm-hmm. need everything you buy costs you money. Yeah. You know, you have a house, it's a big house, now it needs all of its fixings. So it's got a nice in, garden, you've you got a guy to look after the pool. You need full-time employees to manage your house, you know? Yeah. You need someone to water the grass, mm-hmm. you need someone to fucking clean the place, you need someone to do all the maintenance and mm-hmm. fixing it up and stuff like that. Um, I would say, <laughs> if you win, it, literally watch any <laughs> documentary about uh-huh. um, N- uh, NHL, NBA... Fucking all lottery these winners, lottery winners, and how they how they spend their money, and then do what you're way Ooh. more likely to go bankrupt when you get loads of money than when you don't. Yeah, um, because you get you get uh, like you win like five million dollars, right? And then you're like, I have infinite money because mm. in comparison to before, yes, you have infinite money, but it is not infinite. Mm-hmm. And you you'll be surprised how quickly people will, ha- will they will gladly take your millions. Mm. People, if you go into a shop and you're like, "Yo, I'm, I've got five million pounds," they'll be like, "Well, here's everything that you've ever wanted. <laughs> I'll happily take that money. That's great." <laughs> yellow. I bought a yellow bath bomb once. Oh it's not God. a vibe. You get in and you're like, "This <laughs> bath looks like weed. Um, it's not great." <laughs> um, but no, the um, feels like a. Uh, I do think, right, when you get loads of money, it's really easy. I imagine. I don't know. I imagine it would be really easy to start looking around at what you're supposed to do. And really what you'd want to do is go like, what do I actually want? Right. What is my and not like because you could rent your fantasy house for a few months. Right. You could live in this huge, luxurious. But like, is that what you want long term? Do you want to live in a huge house long term? Or do you want to live in like a more medium sized house? But do you want to have a lot of land? Do you want to go on holidays constantly? Like, don't. And I think this is the thing that people do lots of the time when they get money is they're like, right, I'm going to do the rich person stuff. But like, that was just decided by other rich people. Is that what you want? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, nice Air- Airbnb for a month. Figure it the fuck, like, figure it out, you know? Um, Segment the money up. Um, figure out mm-hmm. how old you are. If you can, if you can live your best possible life and you How say, old am I? And you get to a nice, like, you basically, like, how many years of life have I got left? All mm-hmm. right, let's segment the money up. You know what I mean? Because you're probably going to want a little bit more money when you're older. 
for all the all the care. You know what I mean? Mm. So you're gonna need to worry about that. Mm. When you're young, you don't you just by yourself. You know, so yeah. Tier Puma three kid- sub the family. Well, no, if you Puma win billions. Kitty is like, <laughs> yeah, if you win billions, I will be giving you the full, um, uh, what's it, Kent? I'll be inventing Jenner new dances. Oh, it's a thousand dollar dance. It's a ten thousand dollar dance. <laughs> it's so rare. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, yeah, basically, like not buying stuff is good, renting it. Like, they call, don't they call boats a hole in the, a hole in the water you, so throw, you throw money, money in? in yeah. <laughs> Boats, man. <laughs> Don't buy a yacht, rent it, you know. Um, I'm getting uh, insurable used car and continuing to live in my house the way I did previously. Well, I want more space. I want a room that oh, I can I would, stream out of. Yeah, I would definitely have, like, ideally. And then me and Emily could probably have, like, it depends on who won. You know, they get their say. Um, but for me, it would definitely be uh, a nice place, uh, multiple bedrooms, nice lots of room, uh, a nice garden on top of a building somewhere in London. That'd be amazing. Yeah, Fred would literally, literally. be like... If I could like literally step, step out, and I've got this lovely green lawn, and I've got trees, but I'm literally like a thousand foot in the air, and I can see literally, I can see Westminster Bridge over there, I'd be like, yeah, that's good. Hey, that's all your money. Yeah. That, that, that one billion, is just, boom, it's gone. <laughs> um, I'll buy Emily a house with the best internet on one condition. It's closer to Birmingham than to London. Ah. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Ah, thank you. I will mm. happily take your house. Thank you. Thank you. There is like there I love Birmingham now. Best place I've ever been. There are some places um, in uh, in the world where you can get ten gigabit internet. No, Fred would spend half the money, right? Buying, but, but like you'd spend like one one millionth of the money buying a nice house in Italy, and then the rest of it trying to pay people off to get good internet cabled to that house. Be the world's longest Ethernet cable. Yeah. Just for me. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so cool. But yeah, I think you just want to live a nice life and support yeah. like charities and do nice stuff that you want to do. I mean, oh I, God, Fred and I have always games. said after a point, and obviously I don't expect us ever to get there because it's like numbers that almost no streamer ever sees. But, you know, if you got to those crazy numbers, then it would be very tempted, tempting to be like, right, you know, donations and bits all go to x charity this month and like you know you or you start like a frigging foundation where because obviously it doesn't matter how big the streamer is if people really enjoy the streamer they still want some attention Mm -hmm. and if you have thousands of people watching you how do you choose who gets the attention so the 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 situation of someone going here's ten dollars read my message would still happen and does still happen all the time to streamers who are multi 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 millionaires Mm -hmm. so then you would kind of go right I will give you the attention you want, which is what you're paying for, but that money doesn't need to go to me because no. I'm chill. Well, my, my, kind of, my kind of like, um, I guess like uh, dream for the stream would be to basically have a, I, I love streaming. It's like, I, I'm the worst person in the world to fucking buy anything for because mm-hmm. I don't really want anything. I'm like, she's like, oh, I've got a can of, I've got a can of monster. I've got like dinner on the way. I mean, that's all I really need. And I'm like the worst person to buy presents for. Like Emily, I think Emily um, for Christmas bought me uh, some headphones and a hoodie. And I've, I've literally, I've lived in them. Fred's like, headphones and a hoodie? You've got me. Yeah, and I'm like, like, shit. I literally do not want anything else. So um, my dream for the stream, uh, my dream would be if we ever got like to the point, right, where we've got like, I don't know, 15, 20,000 subscribers, you know, probably not going to happen. But do you know what I mean? But uh, I don't know. What, what's, what's. Uh, don't do the math. You'll vomit. I, I will vomit. It's a lot of money, money, right? 20,000 subscribers is like a lot, a lot, a lot of money. It's about about 70 grand a month, right? My dream would be to basically fucking... Watsy would be sorted. I'd have like four or five full-time employees on the stream because Mm -hmm. I would love to have like an entry-level job for chat mods because I I know a lot of people in university want to like basically... Want to want to do like want to have a nice job that they can do from home? I'd be like, mate, I'm want to employ kids at university or people who uh, like can't have trouble getting employed, people with disabilities and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and employ them to be my chat mods. It'd be great. Yeah, Dean would be, be Dean would be on the book sometimes. Dean Dean would be Dean would be hired. <laughs> no, and any any good fucking YouTube editors yeah. be like. That's it. It's done. No, that's that's the direction, right? Yeah. What's the YouTube channel is is back. The wheels have been fully lubricated. That's rolling. All right. The but TikTok always, is rolling. I've always thought moderating a chat would be like the best job for a student. And I, I want to kind of like, you know, I never went to university and I want to make university a little bit more easier <laughs> for people. And it'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool. Um, 
Like, I'd also want to do something about like education and and, and like Africa and stuff like that because the scales. Thirty eight months. A lot of charity. I'd be like fucking one of those people who becomes a billionaire and like fucking loses it all. Like, you know what I mean? I'd be like, well, yeah, but that's why. You, then you hire somebody who's in charge of your money, yeah. who's like, no, you're not allowed to spend that, and you're like, oh, oh no, yeah, you could not be in charge of the money. Holy shit, Fred is not a waste with money at all. But if somebody was like, like knocked at the door and was like, I need ten grand, Fred would be like, fine. Like done it. Fred and I are both pretty giving. We'd need we'd need a horrible capitalist in charge. Now, when we when we first got together, fifteen k subs of the community like this would be amazing. Be fifteen k with or- live stream felt and these would be un- unbearable. That is the thing. I love our community. I fucking love it. I'm so happy with it. I love everyone to get to hang out with. We have good banter. It's fucking lit. If I had to hang out with half the people I see on Twitch, I'd be out the fucking window. All right. It's just half these people are the most insufferable. Just twat. You've seen them. You know what I mean. No, I'm not gonna lie. Every- you don't want that geeky gamer is like that. Yeah, geeky gamer. <laughs> That's got me in. Hi, no, how you no, doing? Hello, geeky gamer. But no, honestly, I, I, every now and again, I actually said this in the, in the earlier on to Emily. It's like every now and again, I'll be in someone's chat and I'll see an emote from someone from a streamer that's quite prominent, and I'm like, oh, I've met that streamer. I've had drinks with that streamer. I've sat in a room and talked to that streamer. They are a prick. <laughs> 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 and it's so funny because I know their online per- their mm. online persona is different than their personality in real yeah. life. But I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh that was what a, a prick! Oh. God, that was awful. And then everyone's like, I love them, and you're like, uh-huh. that is fine. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna like, you know what I mean? You're allowed to be yeah. a prick. Yeah. I just sometimes it doesn't. It's usually YouTubers who are worse. YouTubers are YouTubers. worse than streamers. But sometimes uh. you'll meet a streamer. And they will just be like... Insufferable. Oh, my God. And you're genuinely like, well, I'm going to leave forever. Um, yeah. I cannot believe mm-hmm. I'm being called out like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, ser- dude, there's like one in particular who's like the the wettest... I don't even have to describe him. The wettest towel, I was going to say. I don't even have to describe it. Just mm-hmm. like, so, hey, Tom. Tom, hey, dude. How Yo, you doing? Yo, what up, bro? How you doing, man? Um, yeah, no. Just some people, it's just... Whatever, it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. Honestly, I, I having I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I haven't watched their yeah, stream. Yeah, I don't yeah. even feel like they give off that much of a different vibe. So it surprises me. You know when sometimes you're watching someone and you're like, this stream it seems like a right bell end. And then people are like, Oh, you're the nicest person ever. And you're like And like I've been surprised in both directions. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm talking about Blinks oh, and she's no, like, she found Shit. A- <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I love Blinks. Um He met Markiplier at PAX and he was actively ridiculing people, trying to talk to him. That sucks. Uh, I mean, okay. YouTubers are the worst, by the way. Just, yeah. just FYI, so, YouTubers are the worst people. I don't know, and I've never met him. And every time I meet YouTubers, I want to die. There's like, there's um, like, up here, right? There are like racist, and there are Nazis, and then there are YouTubers. I'm kidding. <laughs> a bit, I'm just kidding. The YouTubers, Nazis, they're the same people. Uh, <laughs> I meant the quartering. It was awful. Um, but right, straight up. Um, I don't know him, Markiplier. I don't watch his content. Do. I, it, it doesn't surprise me that when you're around people who are all desperate to talk to you, that it might make you a bit of an asshole. Exactly. Like when you think about like always being the center of attention, always being the most, and anything you do gets a laugh and everybody loves also, it. You and have like, to ultra curate, like you're the, the, the you you put out there is this highly edited, highly the all the edges are trimmed off and it's like shaped in a way. So it's a bit like, you know, drawing a picture of yourself and the picture is like, you know, like um handsome Squidward. You know what I mean? It's a bit like that, but then you see actual Squidward and you're like, huh? It's why also some YouTubers are fucking terrible streamers. Yeah. Because they do not handle people seeing their mistakes and just the, all their general behavior well. And obviously when you do YouTube, you chop it up, you know. So, um, really? you put politicians above YouTubers. Um, wait, what were you laughing at? <laughs> uh, just Cray- uh, Creighton being like, I get YouTubers asked me to do a 10 minute voiceover for $5. I'm like, no. It doesn't only take 10 minutes of my time, does it? That's a heck no. Hell no, no, honestly, yeah. And I, you know, at the end of the day, they're different skills. If you enjoy someone's YouTube, that doesn't mean you have to like them as a person. But and it's just harder to fake who you are on stream because it's who you are. And there are people, that's why I think some people go specifically down a um, character. 
because the character then covers it like papers over any cracks in either your personality or in the way that people perceive you because you can just always go oh it's not me it's the character that being said most people aren't characters and they do have to somewhat be themselves on stream so like last summer right we had a big like outing of like a bunch of like awful people who are who are, who are streamers who have done awful things mm -hmm. like the, the worst kinds of people right and i remember that and it was quite a big thing at the time. it was really huge and it was really kind of like it took up a lot of like our, our, my emotional depth and uh, <laughs> loads of stuff. Sorry, Tom, you just made me laugh. It's like the most inappropriate time to laugh. He's like, this guy called Oshie Seven, who's a fucking chill guy, sexy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, no, but that was. You, it feels like every other week you end up with a situation where you have a streamer, right, who's sitting there, and uh, every other week you get, you get some streamer, right, uh, some, some, sorry, some YouTuber who's like, hey, everyone, I'm just here to uh, address some concerns some of you might have from. We've seen on Twitter recently. Um, I just want to let you guys know that. Um, um, God, I have to go to Mexico. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, every, that, there's, one, there's this one guy recently who's been outed as like a, as a total perv, and I can't remember who it is now. It's, still it's the guy who's like, he's like branding is an open face, open mouth smile, and it's really fucking weird. I hate him. <laughs> um, Fred's a YouTuber now, dude. Every YouTuber I know has had to do one of those fucking sitting in front of the camera being like, I've just woken up. I'm so sad. Like, it's like, okay, yes, I get it. You, everything like you do awkwardly is... awkwardly editing it and them taking sips of tea, you know? Like, yeah. I guess we've got to talk. Like, you guys have no idea how how hard my life is. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My my uh, in-house zookeepers is walking my life. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> just like, dude, your life is not that hard. You're just a prick. <laughs> uh... It's good times. No, David Dubrovnik? Get... Him, yes. That, that prick. guy? Yeah. He's a cunt. Deliberately editing long breaths, yes. Where they do the, like, look away, tea, sad, come back. And do you know well, how... I was just thinking, sigh. Do you know how it's bullshit? Do you know how it's bullshit? Because Thanks, even Simmons. though the video is edited with jump cuts, they still include them setting up the camera. They're yeah. Like, they're like... Hello, everyone. And there's jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. And it's like, fuck you, dude. You just mm -hmm. literally, you cannot stop creating a narrative. Literally. Is YouTube monetization any good? <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done YouTube in so long. I would say that back in mm -hmm. the day when I did YouTube full time, when I was more, when I, before, before Twitch. Um, and when I say before Twitch, I mean literally before Twitch. Um, before Twitch existed. Yes. Um, I was earning enough. I was earning, I was like putting in fuck tons of hours like literally m insane and i was earning just about the same amount of money as i was earning from my uh part-time job at home base so yeah it was about a 400 quid a 400 basically quid a month. that's why every okay if you're watching a youtuber and they don't get a million views a video and you really like their content drop them a dollar on patreon um it is one of those things where the amount of work that goes into coming up with ideas, curating them, making them, editing, putting them up, and then maintaining social media, and then also promoting those videos to get the algorithm to give a fuck, mm -hmm. um, is a long and difficult job. And I would say that <clears throat> if you do find yourself going time and time again to somebody's YouTube uh, content, d definitely worth it. Every apology video ever. Hang on, hang on. Mitford redeemed secretary. I'm going to give the saucy wing. Oh, We're going to handle yeah. this. Oh, I'm too far over. Oh my god, I've ruined oh it. Oh my god. Sorry, the secretary is in now. Oh lord. The temptation to end oh, that lord. with the proctologist is ready to see you now was so high. Um, <laughs> 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 um but yeah, I was gonna say I went to college with someone and he acts like he's recently become successful on YouTube. <clears throat> oh wait, and he's recently become successful on YouTube. He has the nicest guy in the world on YouTube, but I can confirm absolute shit house of a person. Realistically, any of these like social media influencer YouTube jobs are hey, better Sarah, for you, you, are better for you to do if you are an asshole. Now that does not mean that every person who does it is an asshole, but Especially people who are good at working the algorithm, good at getting the right kind of edgy fucking nonsense content up at the right time, good at... Like, <laughs> it just is better to be a dickhead. Yeah. But that's true with most jobs. Um, what have you been doing, John? What but have you been making? Oh, God. God. Slaving away for five hours. Um, <laughs> it's a one to five ratio of my ball. Left one. 
Um, he got out for a prank he did. Oh, is he one of those? Uh, basically, he he had a friend who was a girl who frequents in David's vlog, so they decided to do a prank where he would make out with her, but changed the girl with Jason Nash, who's close to 40, and he couldn't really uh, know because he was blindfolded for the segment. David only recently apologized for her, but ignored it for a long time. Oh, yeah, but they all do these edgy... Dress you, oh, my God. People will basically just make the trash as possible content, which is like deeply offensive, and then just genuinely be like, "Well, it got me clicks. I'll apologize for that one in three years." Um, oh, Blake's mate. Uh, listen, like I, I, f f stupidly, idiotically, me and Emily uh, collaborate with no one. Oh, wait, Blinks. Honestly, if you want to know what not to do, do everything Fred and I don't do. So people are like, "Do you want to play a video game together?" And I'm like, "I think you were racist once, so you're dead to me." Um. I have... We're the worst, bro. Fred and I are the worst. So, yeah, constantly, endlessly. And honestly, if it allows me to sleep at night, I'm fine with it. I don't need to be fucking rich. I'm cool, all right? Fuck being rich. It's just a load of shit, load of accountants bothering you all the time or something. And loads of people simping for you because they think you, you might give them some money. Fuck it. Right? So recently... If, if I'm happy with who I am... Here's, then I'm happy. Here's the shit, right? Recently, Grosscore got banned off Twitch for, allegedly, uh, sleeping with underage kids. Being and, a pedo. Yeah, be, being a pedo and being fucking like a, like a sexual... Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to... Here's Grosscore, twitter.com slash Grosscore, uh, followed by Twitch UK and Ireland and 21 other people you know. That's the industry, right? That's the industry. Genuinely, it's so cringy. It's like, you're like, well, surely you don't, guys don't want to be friends with this guy. And they're like, but what if I do? <laughs> ah, fuck off. Well, what about if he blows up? And everyone... I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. I was friends with you the whole time. Oh, Ugh, The simping responses that you see to people who are like actually assholes, who are like outed every other week as like doing some shady shit. And then people are like, you're so funny. You're so good. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, he recorded his own fart. I'm going to tell him that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. He it's like... <laughs> yeah. I think they all have a mute and they don't have any idea. They all know. <clears throat> There's no way, even if you do have a... No. No. Honestly, I'm following people and then muting them. I don't I don't really get the point, Whatever. personally. I guess it's Whatever. to have your open mutual DMs, but... Yeah. I don't give a fuck. If I don't follow um, you, I don't care about you. What the fuck's the plan? I would literally never watch Grow School. You could not pay me. Literally, the first time I ever heard of him in, like, 2015, it was him being mad misogynistic yeah. because women wouldn't have sex with him. And I was like... I saw Gross Girl at a party once and I was like, oh my God, you're like that when you're not on camera too. Oh, oh Lord, <laughs> That's literally. Actually your personality is not even a gimmick. Yeah. Just a load of people no. berating him. Uh, Gross, I don't even know Gross Girl is honestly the worst person. Mm -hmm. He's, he, he did it. Oh my God, no, because I always unfollow people. I don't follow people all the time. I saw somebody who I have no problem with and I met at a bunch of events playing games with somebody I knew to be a rapist yesterday and just immediately unfollowed. I could have messaged him and said, like, did you know? But I thought he does know because this person's famous and he's just like, oh, this guy's got no one to play with now. So now he can play with me. Even if you don't follow them. Oh, and then I usually block. I don't know. I've never. I I do, it hasn't happened to me yet. If I find someone that I've muted, I then know that they were bombarding me with messages either during the quartering debacle, the ninja debacle, or the mm. XQC debacle. During one of those three times is the only time that I muted literally everyone on the planet. <laughs> there was this one dude, um, right? And so it's probably one of those. There was this one you know dude I mean? one time a few, a few years ago, and it was an old viewer who actually left when Emily started watching a stream, right? So he ended up... Um, after a couple of years of being, because he was like, oh, fucking women, fucking women, you know, because he was one of those sorts of guys. I used to stream on my own and it was like, yeah, lads, 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 uh, I watch <laughs> Twitch to get away from women, not to get, not to be around them. And so he stopped watching when Emily came along. So after a couple of years, I guess he get, gets bored, right? And he comes mm. back and he's just, he's, he, he becomes one of those well actually people. So I mute him, right? I, I, like about two weeks ago, there was like, I wanted to see one of my tweets had a reply, but I couldn't fucking. I couldn't fucking see it, right? So I was like, what the fuck? Like, why? It says there's a reply, but I can't. There's nothing in my mentions. I um, look at incognito mode. He's been replying to me for like three years <laughs> with like comments on everything I've done, right? He, the well, actually people. So, you know, you tweet out something being like, 
Black Lives Matter and then someone will be like, oh, well, whoa. actually, Black Lives Matter are quite oh, yeah. a problematic organization. He's been tweeting at me for three years and I've never, no likes, no nothing. <laughs> oh, and my I just, I God. Just, I'm like, I actually, at that point, I was like, I should just block him. I should just like end his pain. You're too obsessed with me, mate. And then I didn't block him. I just left him. <laughs> He's still going. But no, I completely agree with you, Blinks. If I see somebody that I have muted, I know. I hate that I don't remember why I did it, though. <clears throat> and then occasionally, right, I will cause myself never-ending pain. And I'll go, oh, why did I do it? And I will search my Twitter username, their Twitter username, and see how we interacted and i always go oh for fuck's sake what did i read that for because i literally muted them to save my brain from having to read that shit and then i and then i just put myself back through it i do it all the time i'll mute or i'll block someone and then i'll see that i've got them muted or blocked and then be like what are they i need to learn self-control yeah <laughs> yeah half the time you literally click on it and you're like that's racist right um, they're also interested in he and his friends put down a bigger friend. Is it which one's this? Is, is this the, the smiley boss? one? I've never seen him before. I yeah. he got cancelled. I see him in like every. I, he's a YouTuber who I see everywhere apart from on YouTube. And then he's yeah. always like, he's always like, I says like his, his thing is a big open mouth mm -hmm. smile, and it's so awful and like. Yeah. So no, I got ninjas. Lot came at me when I said that saying you would never play with women was sexist because it means that women can't get involved in competitions and that's bad for promotion, so you're being an arsehole. Um, then I got in trouble with XQC for saying that he when he had that corona party, it was really cringy. And then I got in trouble with um, the quartering by trying to get all of his <clears throat> sponsors to leave him. And they have. <laughs> Which was... Yeah, I didn't think he'd see it, but he did! Um... Like I, it's quite I, funny with the quartering because I actually started that. Then Emily's tweet got a bit more traction to me, mm -hmm. and I was like, I mentioned all of it, and then Emily quote tweeted me and was like, "Hey, fuck you know." And then, um, yeah, then her tweet got more traction. So even though I'm the one who did it, did the shit, Emily got in trouble for it. I did get in trouble. I did. And then he deleted all his Twitter. He was so weird. Um, yeah, apparently he's like, uh, he's lost. I think he's lost all of his sponsors. Good. Yes, he has lost all of his sponsors. I think. Bye. Um. <laughs> Do you ever not feel yourself? Just feel off. Most days. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, there was, I love whenever those guys come at me, they're always like, you're gross and no man will ever want you. And then I'm like, blue box. 28 Ooh. months. Thank you and very I'm much, like, box. Not only am I bisexual, right? One. Two, I know, right? The guys, you can say guys don't want me, but I've been harassed plenty, all right? Three, I'm literally married. So, like, the level that that is supposed to hurt me, when they're like, you're fat and ugly and everyone's going to hate you and you're never going to, no one's ever going to marry you. And I'm like, I'm literally married. And then they're all like, well, I don't know what to do about this. I'm just going to leave. It's honestly hilarious yeah, it's and cringe funny. and ridiculous. No, it's like one of those things where, like, guys, like, you can get the ugliest trouble of that looking motherfucker being like, yeah, you're not even attractive. And it's just like, Every woman knows exactly how attractive they are because honestly, like, is the, like, did I fucking ask? Like, I don't give one, a shit did, if you want to have a sex. No, with for me. one, they don't want to fucking yeah. ask. But also, most women go through their lives being like, cat, like whistled at and fucking like. Yeah, but that's not even just about one. You're right, but that isn't even just about attractiveness. Like, no, true, true, true. people just do that to be assholes. Um, like, yeah, it's so much. It's like. You're not fat and ugly because I'm going to tell you you are and I'm jealous that you went to sleep with me. Yeah, it was like... Suit up, Johnny. That is a dark time. Oh, shit. Christ, those are like the worst people. Especially Crowder. Crowder is like literally unapologetic, like blatantly racist, basically. Yeah, Crowder is like, I'm racist. Shapiro is like... I'm intellectually fake racist. Fake intellectual yeah. racist. I don't know. Pete isn't Peterson the one who had like some brain issue recently? I have. I is mean, he the one that went on the all meat diet right and then way. like died? Oh, I hope so. But then like got, he's like fully <laughs> Igor right now. No, his like daughter had to take him to Russia to put him on some mad medication. Like it's a really oh, crazy yeah. story. And no, no, no. That's why I said fake intellectual. Shapiro wears the like robes of intellectuality so mm -hmm. that people who don't know what it is to actually no, be intellectual Shapiro goes to a feel... very nice shop he goes to a nice place where you can buy a nice men's suit he walks over to the boy section buy suits from there mm -hmm. uh you know little kid section and then he um is like that, that one time when he was like trying to suggest that global warming wasn't real and even if it was real 
people just sell their homes and move to somewhere where it isn't flooded. And it's like, who the fuck is buying these flooded homes, you <sighs> stupid motherfucker? It was, that was really funny. No, so he's actually stupid, but he presents himself as intelligent so that people who want to feel like they are consuming academic content, but also want that academic content to fall in line with their right-wing views, um, just like... It's the best clip, Casey. It's the best clip. Yeah. Yeah, oh my God. So like... It fulfills that need of like, yes, well, I actually know the facts, but like you're actually just watching Ben Shapiro yeah. talking out of his ass. I used to watch fucking, um, uh, who's going to buy him? Aquaman. Yo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I used to I used to watch Thunderfoot back in the day, and then Thunderfoot for some reason became a fucking psychopath. And he was like, he's like, someone says he hates uh, who's the woman that everyone hates that does video game content. And he's so easy. And he someone says he hates her and has made fifty seven thousand videos on her. Honestly, the minute you click on someone's YouTube and it looks like the quarterings, regardless of where they lie, when it's just videos, endless, endless, endless videos about every single thing that someone's done, I'm like, you're mental. Um, Honestly, it's it. Thunderfoot used to. I, I I remember he used to make relatively normal content, right? And it was like super shit, like proving the Earth wasn't six thousand years old and stuff like that. And I used to be like, I used to be a bit of a um, not a Bible basher, but someone who used to be like laugh at like uh, creationists and stuff like that. Because I used to be quite funny back in the day. Yeah, like, Fred was. A, I mean, look at Fred and tell me you didn't know that he was an edgy atheist when he was a early twenties person. Um, not problematically yeah. edgy, just enjoyed laughing at people who are crazy. No, Fred had his like Fred had his atheist books and he was like I know Shapiro is a nuts, but can we chat about the biggest tweet the new one was on? Alex. Yeah, but Alex is invisible. Where's Alex Where is he? Alex has blown out his vocal cords and but he's on info fucking slash uh, red tubes. I don't, tubes. Know. <laughs> no, I, don't fucking... I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he is now. It's Emily time. <gasps> Chat, top of the hour every hour, we do a game giveaway. And we also run a 30 second <clears throat> advert. If you don't want to see the advert, consider subscribing. Um, if you've got a Prime, drop it now. Give but more than that, um, if you would like to win a free game, type exclamation mark, enter in the chat. You have two minutes to enter. Um, and we've got tons of different games on the wheel. So good luck. And you get Boop. like a Nerf gun to so point at the camera and be like, give me your fucking Prime. Is that necessary? punishment um some people take alice uh, okay so the thing that bums me out about alex jones is that he is hilarious he's funny as so fuck. you want to be able to ironically consume his content and laugh but you fucking can't because he believes it all these other people believe it now, alex i'm actually convinced <laughs> alex jones doesn't believe it because there's no way there's absolutely no way you can be like Soy it gives you like man titties whilst having man titties and also selling pills that make you more manly that contain is made of 100% soy. It's a it's too much. There's no there's literally no way. Yeah, but I guess right, if you have all these individual points, you just never collect connect yeah. them. You like choose to leave all these pieces of information separately. You're like, "What?" Literally oh my God. turning the freaking frogs gay. Hang on. They're turning the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> Can't do accents, can do a spot on Alex Jones. Make of that what you will. Um, but like, this is the trouble, right? Is when we give these random men the benefit of the doubt to spread bullshit and we go, oh, they probably don't even mean it. It's like, who the fuck cares? No. If you shout it 50 times a day, I'm just going to assume you mean it and I'm going to leave it be. Well, it's the same with like, when people are like, oh, JK Rowling's not even that much of a turf. She just doesn't like when lesbians can't uh, do the things the lesbians um i'm not really sure and it's like you're 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 taking five and five and you're making fucking 72 also, like at the end of the like, day it's better like when people say like oh that person isn't racist they just got a dark sense of humor and i'm like at what point do you differentiate someone shouting racist things racistly and someone shouting racist things non-racistly exactly like, do you know what i mean it's like there's no practical mm -hmm. difference you know what i mean i do understand what you mean yeah no but it is literally that i'm like i don't really give a fuck about discussing why alex jones gets to make shit tons of money off being a massive asshole, and then we're all supposed to give him the benefit of the doubt because it doesn't make sense. Demi Gert, congratulations. Ooh, 
Oh, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. That's actually Enjoy. A sick game. You I hear? hope you like it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, I like you, love it when M is so far up. On her amazing sofa box, she can't even stop to breathe. I don't need to breathe. I've learned circular breathing. I never need to breathe in again. It's just <laughs> happening passively. Um, that was from... Sees the means of yeah. breathing. Um, but yeah, I've never actually... Mm. I've never watched any of those guys. I actually saw... I, so one time, I actually was like, all right, I've heard crowd, I've heard of Crowder. Let's go... Mm. Watch, I want to go on to Crowder's YouTube channel. And I'm going to watch some Crowder. And I was like... Holy fuck, this is like the stupidest most For didgeridoo dudes. This is like the people who are like purposely stupid. Like it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, you, I think everyone who has this opinion knows this opinion is wrong, but understands that if this opinion is pervasive, it benefits them societally, mm. even though they know it's incorrect. Like the idea that like, uh, the fucking, the, the human brain is the most complicated thing in the entire universe, right? Mm. There's nothing that matches the human brain. The human brain, in terms of complexity, mm. in terms of what it achieves, in terms of all these things, is the most advanced thing in the universe. Mm -hmm. But do you have PP or VV? That depends on <laughs> your brain is only good if you have the PP. Yes. If you have the VV, brain bad. Bad brain, small. No, it's also one of those things, right, where when it comes to these people, I obviously, I spend a lot of time online, love a bit of dunking on idiots, love a bit of picking apart a stupid argument. But at the same time, <clears> I do <throat> at points go, how much time am I committing to hearing ideologies i do not agree with i do not believe and letting that shit sit in my brain you also, whereas i should really just be absorbing stuff i do agree with i mm. do believe that does expand my brain rather than just being like dunked on owned you know you also do have to be really fucking careful for that shit because that shit is propaganda yes. it is designed to change the way you think yes it's not even like you like are uh, you know it's not like slippery slope of drugs or anything like that this is literally human psychology that mm. they're using to get you on their side and you might like listen to them and they might say one thing that you you kind of go oh yeah maybe there's something there mm -hmm. and it's the fuck it like i've seen so many people go like go from oh you know i was a i was a liberal i believed in all this and then i really got woke uh, to like the actual things and oh now i'm at a fucking end the lockdown march of a bill gates mask yeah and like you know Oh, I went on the red pill and I learned how the world really is because it is supposed to make you feel smart, make you feel like you're discovering something, like you're learning something new. But actually what you're doing is just <clears> being <throat> fed specific lies. Um, and you're right as well, like in the sense that a lot of these people are being paid yeah. and being funded by, because obviously it suits a lot of rich people and large companies and things to have people agree with, oh, we shouldn't tax them. Taxation is theft. Mm. Um, well, come so, on. Like, Alex Jones gets float, f thrown off every single platform on the internet. But he's still going. And he's still going. And he still has like $50,000 Rolex, mm. Rolex watches. Mm -hmm. First of all, who the fuck buys Rolex? Mm -hmm. Second of all, $50,000. But the thing is, as soon as they're not useful anymore, they'll yeah. get dumped too. Oh, of course. So that's the thing is, if we all try and stop giving them attention stop talking about them stop stop retweeting every stupid clip of them that goes out it will actually shrink their viewer base because a lot of people are hate watching but a lot of those hate watchers do convert into real watchers well, you can know we, can we please appreciate the fact that ben shapiro is british what well, yeah no that's isn't it fucked up like no. yeah he like really or he lives in the, in this country anyway what what the fuck who let him in? He was out. No, wait. Am I thinking Ben Shapiro? Am I thinking someone else? I don't know. I think he's Floridian originally. But oh, I, my I, God. I remember he was doing it. He went on a tirade about Tesco's recently. What? About how they got rid of like... Get him out of Tesco's. Who let Ben Shapiro <clears throat> in Tesco's? No, he doesn't. He went to school in the UK, I think. Ah. ah. Okay. Thank you. Because I remember he's always talking about things in the UK and he always like... He's doing stuff. And he was down the pub one time. Down the pub. Down the pub. We can't invite Ben Shapiro like, into our pubs. Don't go down the pub. Yeah, but also people like to feel like so. There's this weird thing where sometimes Americans try and show that they're more cultured by saying they've been to England and like dropping <coughs> some English facts. And I'm like, wasn't that Tommy Robinson? Oh no, he's much worse. Well, he's different. Don't talk about the pub. <laughs> Sorry, Shivon's like, I just want some wine at the pub. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, with the, the Tesco. Well, we know. I don't know. Isn't he in prison now? I shouldn't be forced to listen to people like Toby Robinson yeah, ever in my life. It might be. I maybe I'll get confused. All, all these uh, right wingers mm. look the same. Um, English relatives. When it's Steve from Liverpool. Yeah, no, they love to be like. Fucking Steve. Spent, I used to spend my summers in the country in England. And you're like, 
getting eaten by like gnats in Barnsley isn't dodging you know cars, a sign of high culture. Jumping from roundabout to roundabout, dodging <laughs> the cars in Milton Keynes is not the country. Okay. Ah, wait, Tommy Robinson isn't even his real name. What's his real name? Oh my god, what is his real name? Oh my god. Oh, Milo, he got it's Clyde Coulson or something. Wait, it? Like... he's straight now. So, I you Milo Yiannopoulos or whatever was Ooh. one of the OG. So he was a gay right wing person, ah. and he did a lot of the like men going their own way shit or whatever. I can't really remember. One of those, and he had all right. these like young boys who were like his interns who used to have to come run around after him. It was all very awkward. But now apparently he's ex gay, but he's just trying to get attention again because he got kicked off everything. Everything. He was the original mm -hmm. deletion. He is kicked off everything. Like he has been trying to sell books subsequently. Like there is not a platform no. that he exists I'm on. Literally, there's like Google has given me all of his like links, and there's not, they're all like 404. Ah, oh, his YouTube's still there. So he's still got a YouTube channel, apparently. Yeah, wow, nice. He claims to be ex-gay. So the un... Ex-gay. That's, that's incredibly suspicious, because I remember initially people were like, oh, okay, I guess he's gay. And now he's like, actually, I'm not gay. And I'm like... Well, he's just opened up his own conversion clinic. No, he hasn't. He just said it. Uh, Wait, these people will literally profit off anything. Yeah, they will. Hang on. I'm... Open to traumatize. Wait, to open traumatizing conversion therapy clinic in Florida. He's opening up his own one. That's been him. I have a two month old shrimp tank and I accidentally turned the CO2 dial the wrong way all the way. Have I just killed them all? I'm only asking because I know you have one. <laughs> no, just um, aerate your water. Yeah, no, just um, just yeah, just so uh, possibly. But take, take out a bunch of water, yeah. put a bunch of fresh water in. Yes. Uh, you'll be fine. And then you get your filter really like bubbling up the top because it'll literally let the CO2 out and get more oxygen in. You might have killed them. But you may have killed them all. Just shrimping at the <laughs> but hopefully point. not. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. Um, Deets is off to Florida to explode stuff. Uh, I'm going to get a drink real quick. Go for it. Guess we can play a video game or carry on rinsing the. Oh, either I mean, one, really. I'm either one. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying just chatting. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't super up for a video game. I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of bored of Sea of Thieves, so I was sort of like, wasn't really sure what to do. What do you need beverages? It feels like everyone in Sea of Thieves just plays like a bitch today. Sorry, Dee. <coughs> oh, Dee, I'm sorry. Uh, Emily said she's sorry. I was joking. I forgot. And I say, being me white, white rice. Like, it's humor, okay? It's humor. It's funny. To suggest things that aren't true. Like a boom. Or Rim World. Emily did actually offer to. Yorkshire. You're fucking guesser in fucking Yorkshire. Fucking Yorkshire. Fucking Yorkshire. <laughs> fucking Yorkshire up your fucking ass. Yo, Wobertide, five months. Fred Rim World? No, no, no. You don't want to watch second rate Rim World. You do not want to watch second rate Rim World. Um. I have to check. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, yeah, I, I have no idea. We are in a in a situation where the current state of gaming is there's nothing really out, and unless you're a fucking want to play League of Legends or get into GTA roleplay, there's nothing to really stream. Oh, GTA roleplay. Yeah, I'd rather honestly uh, fist my own penis. Fucking forbidden Ouroboros. <laughs> Please no rim job call. But when asked in what sense he is now ex-gay, he, he conceded that it's an ongoing process right now and he's just managing a state of abstinence. He knows it doesn't work. He just wants to profit off being an arsehole and torturing people. Dwarf Fortress and Fred, maybe. That's not the content we're looking for, Fred. Apologies. That's how I feel when I play League. Please not Dwarf Fortress today. No. Dwarf Fortress is not streamable until they release it on Steam. When they release it on Steam... Uh, brace your anus because you are going to get fucked with some Dwarf door Fortress. <laughs> it's going to happen, chat. We'll put some background bops on. We'll put some nice background bops on the, on the Dwarf Fortress. Um, but you know, just 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 embrace it, chat. Just embrace it. So End Zone is out full. Um, but that game was not the best. It's like. Annoying Rim World because you have to like, uh, yeah, they, I think they finished it. I just remember that in that game that it was like 
Your entire base is nuclearated. You now have to turn over all of the soil. How much of it? All of it. The entire thing? Yes. So that was fun. You said you have people with shovels just like turning over the topsoil constantly, forever, ad nauseum. Let's let's get the flow to play room world. Where is flow? She's on the sofa. She's chilling. Uh, Mitford said, "Question to both of you: uh, You've been in the game long enough. Would you say that the use of both streaming and YouTube has accelerated uh, has accelerated?" to rate at which bad content is spread across the internet. Uh, can you elaborate on the question? I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? What's your definition of bad content? You mean harmful content or do you mean like shit content? <laughs> yeah, like, because obviously we've <clears> just <throat> been having like an hour long conversation about harmful content, Yeah, which isn't the same as just like not enjoying it. I would say um, if you're looking to harmful content, mm -hmm. uh, if you mean sort of like stuff that's like problematic and stuff like that, absolutely. There's a definite market out there for, I mean, one of the biggest things I've discovered recently is that there's a, lot, a lot more people out there in the world, in the Western world, in the UK, in, the, in America and stuff like that, are actually a lot more um, uh, malicious than I realized. And there's actually quite like a, especially with the whole sort of like so, so anti-SJW stuff that happened, mm -hmm. where it's actually become quite trendy to be a shitlord. You mm -hmm. know? Well, what's interesting about the anti-SJW stuff, and it's something that's always worth looking out for, is <clears> that... <throat> they create an argument that no one is arguing yeah. and then dunk on it, yeah. right? So, like, no one is saying, for example, like, do you, does anyone remember the whole Tumblr in action era? Um, there was actually a pretty interesting video, and if I remember, I'll put it into Discord for you guys to watch it, um, but basically about how <clears throat> the majority of the really viral Tumblr in action posts never existed on never Tumblr existed. and were fictitious, right? But what they'll do is they'll create an argument that nobody has. For example, there are nine million genders and if I say I'm a squirrel, then I shouldn't have to have a job. And someone will go, well, that's ridiculous. You're not really a squirrel. That's right, I said it. But no one out there is seriously arguing that they are a squirrel who shouldn't have a job, right? Like, that's yeah. not a real arguable position. But then they'll use that to go, you see, I think the LGBT uh, alphabet soup has gone too far. Well, and it's the like... The attack helicopter thing. Yeah. Never, like, obviously never happened. No yeah. one identifies an attack helicopter. But it's kind of interesting that everyone, if you ask people, they would assume that someone out mm. there would, would have said that, but that was actually used as an argument against, like, it was basically like someone take, making fun of them. But I think genuinely you'd ask people now and they'd be like, yeah, 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 someone, someone, I saw it, I saw it, yeah. I saw it, I saw it, it saw definitely it. happened. But it's also worth bearing in mind as well that oftentimes people will, especially when it comes to like LGBT and trans stuff that people will make fun of, is, <clears throat> uh, you know, on Tumblr, is of what did exist was often children. Mm. You're often taking a no notes, no replies, post that a 13 year old made and then being like this represents trans people and yeah. it's ridiculous when there are loads of trans adults who are like well maybe leave that child alone and yes. talk to me um children also have so imaginary friends children also have a hard time differentiating television from reality yeah like you know it, I mean? it isn't reasonable to all dunk on a child like but the child is the one making the ridiculous argument, you know? How old do you have to be to start differentiating what's on TV from reality? I think you have to be quite old. I think it's like when you were like eight or nine years old, where you Shit. realize the stuff that happens on TV isn't real. So actually, I think it can even happen into your like, uh, into 10, 11 year olds, mm. where basically that's why, that's why a lot of kids truly believe wrestling's real. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You'll get kids who are like 14 years old who truly believe wrestling is real. Mm -hmm. And that, oh no, these are all real things. All these mm -hmm. stories, it's all, none of it's, none of it, because they can't differentiate what they see on TV from reality. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Old Norse? You don't suck. I'm great. Fred's stunning. We've got loads of people yeah, here. Old Norse, you're fucking Gorgeous. amazing, dude. Um, how old it's Norse, made you're is accomplishing real. shit every day. You're going Literally. through fucking hardships I've never even known. And you're like dominating them. Dude, yeah. you're, fucking, you're fucking sick. So... When it comes to YouTube, the internet, right? Let's let's rem the the argument and the conversation is really about how propaganda is spread on the internet, rather than whether YouTube or streaming are specifically a terrible place. That being said, I think streaming has been a huge breeding ground for misogyny. There's racism, mm -hmm. there's transphobia, there's sexism. I think that of and I know it's like I'm a woman, so like you're obviously going to think it's about misogyny. But if you look at the early days of streaming in terms of questing i.e. blokes going around and bombarding, getting their chat to bombard someone's stream to like get their attention, like you should go on a date with streamer or 
the amount of IRL streamers who made a job out of going around bothering girls, especially in like Japan, yeah. for content. Um, because Japanese people won't say anything, you know what I mean? You know, be... and also people are racist. Mutash. Yo, Mutash, thank you for the 20. Never months. heard that in my life. Um, I don't, yeah. follow for? I don't know, exclamation mark follow. Uh, well, I've actually, I remember the day that you followed. It was a Tuesday. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Tuesday, February 13th. Whatever year Imagine that if was. It actually was February 13th. Wouldn't that be fucking sick if I guessed that right? <laughs> I, mean, I barely remember oh, my own it birthday. Was, it was May 7th. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, uh, so click close. your name, forehead. You can click your own name and see how long you've been following mm -hmm. for. Um, I don't know. I feel like the thing with. The thing with streaming and YouTube, YouTube especially, streaming uh, not, not as much, but still quite a bit, is that it is, it is kind of like a, um, uh, you kind of get like everything in like concentration mm -hmm. and then you get like, you'll get like a meme that will happen. Like not, not a meme as in a joke, but a meme as in sort of like a replicable thing over and over again that really captures people's attentions, such as being an asshole on purpose and going around and pranking people. And like pranks are really popular for a while because people believe they're real and shit like that. And you get end up with like, basically like someone will basically sprinkle uh, mentho dust into a big like swimming pool of like fucking Coca-Cola, you know, not literally like as mm -hmm. in like, you know, and you kind of get these situations where it is like, the race to the bottom, I guess. So you have to bear in mind, and, and there's also a really interesting conversation, not just about how propaganda is spread, not just how, about how lies, you know, can be used to make people money and all that kind of stuff, mm. but also about um, the algorithm and how the content that has been popular and grown on YouTube has changed over the years because the algorithm promotes it. Mm. You watch a lot of uh, <clears throat> content that is, like, for example, YouTube will know certain things about you. So it'll go, based on what you watch, you're a mid-30s guy who is into anime, you know? Um, so, oh, no. this is a new anime video Surely that's I'm doing pretty one. well. We're going to present that to yeah. you to see if you like it. But the trouble is with that is they will also go, ah, oh, what other things do mid-30 guys who like anime like? And it will be, like, misogynistic videos or pranks or racism um or whatever right so the the issue is is how easy it is to become um like to accidentally be exposed to like f fundamentalist content or mm -hmm. whatever based on your other interests or what people around you are watching so you can't be in a situation where through no specific fault of your own, you're actually being presented quite regularly with propaganda. Yeah. And it's the same issue that's happened with children's content um, that YouTube actually did move on, yeah. where people would make hyper-sexualized content for children that they would start watching regular Peppa Pig compilations and end up watching... Spider-Man impregnates yeah. Elsa weird sexual slash quite violent videos. So, yeah. um, and, and it's Luigi been quite well... And beats them up or some shit. Yeah, like it's that. been quite, quite well mental. documented that, you know, the algorithm would lead you down this path. Yeah. And everybody's been there where sometimes you end up in the weird depths of YouTube. And especially since the talking to the camera 10 minute plus type of video... Um, yeah. Yeah, the old Spider-Man Elsa times of YouTube. The we dark got, ages. What you got to bear in mind is with that, that is still happening to you. Yeah. Except it's not going to be quite as obvious. It's a bit more subtle. So, now, yeah, um, yeah get you you guys get out of the weird depths of YouTube, buddy. Well, you just got to click on the little like the little ellipses next to videos mm -hmm. and be like, do not recommend this to me. Yeah. Like you can literally control it. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you're not you're not at the mercy of the of the algorithm. But like for instance, I watched like one. So basically, last night I was like sitting on my laptop, and I was trying. I had a headache, and I listened to one video that was like um, uh, ambient sort of like noise uh, mixed in with like some like uh, Avatar: the Last Airbender music. And now half my recommendations are all those things. Yeah, I like listen to yeah. music that you ASMR, yeah. ambient, summer, spend time under a cozy tree, five hours, mm -hmm. Japanese, uh, late night lo-fi hip hop, study, mm -hmm. work, sleep, and I'm like. But it's also worth bearing in mind that... And now I have to go on to all these and be like, not, not interested, interested, not interested. But you know. the algorithm is also um, just interested in keeping you on the platform as long as possible. 
So if you were working to one of those or you fell asleep to one of those, they were like, he listened to that for two hours. He must love that. Mm. Great. Let's get you loads of it. Because um, the algorithm is really stupid too. So I do think that when it comes to that kind of thing, and that's why you will see YouTubers like The Quartering getting really angry that there is kind of like um, one of the ways that YouTube works out who to recommend is it creates kind of a spider diagram of big platforms right or big um channels and then what other people who watch those channels watch so it kind of com- becomes like so you know if you are a bit left winger on youtube you've likely stumbled into bread tube over time and so you know if you watch h bomber guy then you likely like sean and if you watch sean then you definitely have watched big philosophy Joel. tube and then obviously you like big joel but then big joel does video like um movies and stuff quite often so then from there you'll start getting people going an lgbt analysis of spider-man and mm. then you end up being take because youtube on just wants Ellis. to see what you're going to watch and then you're watching Lindsay ellis and all that kind of yeah. stuff so you've got those connections right and youtube tries to funnel you around into stuff that you might enjoy and that's why a lot of the right-wing youtubers get really angry because they are on the fringes in one corner with almost no connections to anyone else yeah so they get pushed further and further right because that those are the people who are watching their content but in doing so alienate themselves mm. more and more from the They're algorithm. almost getting dragged to the which right is, by the f- further right which is why the right-wing people then make constant videos about celebrities yeah because if you like brie larson then a new type Brie Larson in, you're going to find at least one The Quartering video. Do you know what I mean? He's obsessed. Um, uh, my, YouTube, my YouTube recommendation is Twitch streamers' reactions to YouTube <laughs> vids and Hassan. Seriously. Like, and yeah. reaction vids are the fucking worst, too. But people but watch them. I find thing. myself watching reaction videos mm-hmm. and I couldn't give less of a fuck. But this is the other thing. Fred and I, if we were smart, which again, we've discussed this, and when it comes to content creation, we are not. Five IQ. Um, absolute papega behavior no, we, are papega. Um, we should people like it when we do just chatting so but not always you need stuff to talk about mm-hmm. so we should right number one do a podcast number two spend a lot of our time with a video up here going let's react to blank you guys can give videos we react well, to it everybody's happy well, that also has the high, highest potential of going viral if, yep. I, if I react to the right video at the right time mm-hmm. and put it on YouTube quick enough, I literally could like go viral on, yeah. on YouTube. Like that one video could blow up. We could be 100,000 views. And say, for instance, if 1% of those people who watch that video come, mm-hmm. and come to the stream and become a regular in the stream, suddenly we're a 1,000 viewer stream. It, well, it's another thing that I have actually been meaning to do and I get really lazy with, but I bit, Fred and I have both been really enjoying TikToks recently. And I know that I should create a little playlist of tiktoks that i enjoy mm-hmm. and then watch them with you guys and we'll all have a laugh and it's the laziest possible content people do that all the time when i look at channels and i'm like how do they how are they live for 12 hours they'll spend three hours eating cheetos while somebody else entertains their chat well, do you know what i mean well that's the thing scotty right is that i don't care about the mcas mm-hmm. on youtube because mm-hmm. it doesn't give me a strike all it does is takes the earning uh, mm-hmm. potential away from that video but I i'm not doing it for money on youtube i'm doing it for money on twitch yeah so basically, it is a giant fucking billboard. Yeah. But yeah, I could make money. Uh, let's watch TikToks. Honestly, I, yeah, that would be perfect content. Mm-hmm. Like fucking streamers react to TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I don't think the TikTok I watch would be very entertaining for you guys to watch. Would you I, be like... Yeah. yeah. All right. But I... I mean, it's actually something I have been meaning to do slightly, not in a Here not in a go. super, uh, you know, play in the algorithm quite way, quite like super play in the algorithm way, but... I do find myself watching entertaining content that mm. I think oh, I'd like to show this to the stream and then I never take the time to save it. So that's something I would like to do. Um, TikTok's great. Sorry. It's so entertaining. No, there's t- a lot of good shit and there's a lot of fun TikTok comedy. TikTok isn't just little kids, honestly. Mm. I, I, yeah. I, t- I've spent like an hour just scrolling through TikToks before and been like, mm. oh, fuck, I've been doing that for an hour. Mate, shit. We could click on any Vine compilation, which is essentially TikTok. Yeah any vine compilation on youtube and have 45 minutes of us all rolling with laughter because there are a lot of really fucking funny people out there yeah um now not saying i desperately want to do that but we've done watching videos with you guys in the past and it makes sense all right so to give you guys an idea of what we're talking about like an actual Mm. sort of like uh with numbers and stuff Mm. like that the most popular video me and emily have done recently um was the um reviewing your guys' setups Mm. right so we 
no, reviewing your setups, hugely popular, and it actually did really well on the algorithm. We got a bunch of followers. And bear in mind that we're not uploading enough for the for the for YouTube to promote any of our videos, yes. and yet people still came and watched them. Yeah. Another one was reacting to um, Dream Houses, and that was like one of our. Bi- so we've done gaming videos that have paled in comparison to looking at your 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 setups and also looking at Dream Houses. Those are the best ones. Lawrence is going in the house. Um, you need to post an update pic. You do. It's a butt. It's a flow butt. <laughs> Come on, flow. In you go. We didn't cut out the lesbian dream house, did we? It was in there. I it think was... it was just a cut down version. Mm. <laughs> Dean, yes. But the thing is with me and Emily is that for one, we like gaming, mm-hmm. right? And for two, um, the... It wasn't fucking cocaine! Well, Fred and I were also aware, and I don't know if we were really deliberately spoken about this, but... You don't want to back yourself into a corner where there's only one kind of content people will watch you for. I like the fact that while people come and go during gaming streams, during just chatting streams, you guys are like, what are we doing today then? Right? Mm -hmm. If I gain success doing one thing, the minute that thing is not interesting anymore, no one watches my stream anymore. That is the tightrope you're always walking as a streamer, is you still need people to click on it. Right? So, yes! Now, this is the future. Now, all we need to do is put some little, like, flowers and stuff around our overlay to make it ever so cute. All right. So, this is the future. Yeah. This, this is it, chat. This is it. Chat, how do you, how do you feel about Tiny Fred and Evan Giant Florence? <laughs> I think it's... The, look, mm-hmm. imagine on Monday, like, tomorrow when we get the 4K webcam. Tuesday is going to be the stream, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, on Tuesday, uh, on today's stream, this will be a 4K webcam chat. Mm-hmm. Look forward to it. Puma Kitty. Fred just bought me that cat, the little cat stuffed toy. Yeah. That lives with Florence. He just bought it. I think he saw it on like, he was doing like a Prime Now years ago. Yeah. And was. they were like, other things you might like, this stuffed cat. And Fred was like, I do. I love it. So it's just been chilling. It, it actually, used to live on top of the TV. Yeah, it used to live on top of the TV and just block a bunch of the screen and we were just chilling with it. Um, Can't we see that in 4K? Yeah. Yeah. Look how cute this little guy is. It's going to look good. Honestly, so eventually, guys, eventually, like every camera we mm-hmm. like, if we, so basically, me and Emily got some big plans. The YouTube, we've actually like really weirdly, I feel like the stream is at the best it's ever been, but also our ability to be content creators is probably the best it's ever been. And I feel like with YouTube, it, <gasps> I'm a good content with YouTube creator. editing, uh, the YouTube mm-hmm. editing being taken care of by someone else now, mm-hmm. um, and us getting like sort of regimented of that, it's gonna be really. Really good making content in multiple places. Mm-hmm. And I think this is uh, 2021 might be a good year for the stream. So it's going to be really I fun. I definitely agree. And also it gives you guys more value for when fun stuff happens in the stream. You can mm. maybe catch it in videos. Hey, maybe one day we could do a vlog again. Go outside. <sighs> that might be entertaining. I think vlogs um, would be really good for, uh, for the YouTube as well. Yeah, I'm just, honestly, it is one of those things where there are obviously a lot of things you can do. I don't want to do any of them. <laughs> Mate, when when you see people, the the top, I'm, I just clicked on my following page, right? The top five people on my following page right now are playing Fortnite, RuneScape, Rainbow Six, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, PUBG. Man, we're in a game drought. Holy shit, yeah, people are in PUBG again. Oh Mario, my god! Super Mario 64, yep. Dead by Daylight, Minecraft, Just Chatting, someone who doesn't ever do Just Chatting. Mate, do you want to just start another... Minecraft, hardcore Minecraft 100, and just pretend like we never did it, and just no one talk about it. Just don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Just chatting, Um, Escape from Tarkov, mm -hmm. Ducks, mate. Johnny, that happens all the time. He said, it reminds me of that channel who pulled out tons and tons of those hot knife verse object videos. I have recently checked out the channel again, and he has like 300 views in his most recent video. Literally. Now, there is nothing wrong with Fred and I periodically doing a, hey, we we found some funny TikToks, and I want to show them to you. Mm -hmm. But I can't. You can't get into the habit of, Starting every stream with three hours of TikToks, you're or starting every stream with blank oh, because how, people then go, "Oh, you're not doing that one yeah. thing." I mean, how I'm many not streamers interested. have you seen who have blown up doing a doing one thing? Do it, I don't know. Po- open Pokemon cards or all of them. I mean, how many streamers do you see? Th- boxes. I mean, how many streamers do you think have gone from like full? I I play video games mm-hmm. full time. I'm a full time content mm-hmm. creator playing Fortnite, and Fortnite is now a fucking uh, a shadow of it for, of its former self mm-hmm. on Twitch and YouTube. How mm. many content creators do you think are now back at work? Yeah. Back at back in the, the office? Yeah. And like, I'm sure there were also a lot that did a good job at converting sure. those viewers from just Fortnite viewers. Yeah. Like, say you used to average 2, 000, uh, 20,000 viewers playing Fortnite. Well, now, if you've managed to convert 10% of those into 
regular people, you can still have one or two K viewers, yeah. which is still a fantastic number. Well, but it's at- so easy to go, my numbers are so down. I'm sad about that. And rather than mm. thinking I've grown so much during this time that I'm still a bigger channel than I was, yeah. they go, fuck it. Like I quit, you know? Honestly, I am uh, I'm looking at a friend of ours called Dakotas and um known him for years. So I actually mm-hmm. knew I actually knew Dakotas when he averaged like ten viewers. And Dakotas used to stream Fortnite to like 19, 20, 25, 30,000 people. Mm-hmm. He's been live for four hours thus far and streaming to uh, 2.4K viewers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, poor fucking guy. Oh, my God. Oh, dead oh, channel, guys. Dead channel. Do you know what I mean? Dead channel. Two point, you know, I'd fucking shit myself if I had 2.4 average viewers. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. <laughs> 2.4 Affiliate push chat. Um. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, it's just one of those things where it's sort of like um, he played a lot of Fortnite he was only like in Fortnite was his thing. He branched out into other games. Uh, so he played like lots of. Um, uh, he played a ton of Among Us. And, Among Us, that's it. And like other games like that, which have also meant, you know, playing with other streamers, which is, you should definitely mm-hmm. do that. Yeah. Like, do as I say, not as I do, chat. Don't listen to me. You will never succeed doing the dumb shit I do. No, you have to play. Um, you have to play with other streamers. We're, yeah. just, we're just lucky. Like, Twitch Thunder channel gets high viewers, yeah, because um, one, we're giving away a million, million things, and two, because we get a front page to get it started. Twitch give us um, like an hour or two of front page every event, Mm -hmm. uh, which is cool, because obviously they were like, well, you can't do events, and we were like, no. Also, Reese, I saw you redeem Give Flo a treat, but I'm going to give it to her in a minute, because... She's chilling in her house right now. Yeah. And if I go up to her in her house, she'll probably leave. Yeah, she'll probably jump um, out the house. And we're, we're enjoying house flow right now. I remember like ages ago, chat, I, <laughs> I, was, I was talking to Twitch, right? And I was like, I was talking to the partnership manager. And um, I was like, yo, uh, I understand that you gave us like, so we had default front page for a while. And whilst that sounds really good, it's not amazing. It meant that we just like got double our view account for a while. So rather than having 140, we'd have like 300 viewers. Yeah, well, we'd be on the like rotation, but the rotation yeah. doesn't rotate anymore. So yeah, it, but if someone, yeah, the rotate doesn't rotate anymore. So I remember I spoke to them and I was like, oh man, it'd be really cool. Like, cause we were doing Twitch London at the time. Uh, and it was like a crunch time, right? And I was like, we actually didn't get to stream that often because we were doing so much with Twitch London. Yeah. Would it be cool if we got, and before I could even finish my fucking sentence, I was like, no, fuck off, go away. And I'm like, I was like, what the fuck? But um, I see a lot of people now are like getting like, a lot of streamers in the UK are getting like dedicated front page slots. And I'm like, that's really, it's really weird. Why did that? I was like, literally like, oh, because we do so much with the UK community. And I think out of all the streamers, we do quite the We most. do a lot. For the UK community. It's actually, I have a very, very strange relationship with the UK Twitch team. Yeah. Because you definitely get a mixture of people being like, oh my God, we so appreciate that you do Twitch London because it takes so much pressure off, you know, people wanting more Twitch events and Mm -hmm. we can't do them. We don't have the budget. And then also people being like, I hate you. And I'm like, I don't understand what I've done. So I... My first, like, four years on Twitch, I literally never had any interaction with anyone. I didn't know anyone who worked at Twitch. I didn't know shit. Well, maybe three years. Um, and then over time, I did Twitch London, and I got to know a bunch of people. And so now I kind of just treat it like I did back in the day and just, just act like I don't know anyone because <laughs> what's the fucking point? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no, I mean, don't we all? I mean, Blinks, wouldn't it be amazing if everyone mm-hmm. got a little bit of that front page every now and again? But it seems like, unless you're the, the favoured, like, ten people, they, you go fuck yourself. Yeah, but then... It, it's really weird as well because I am very aware as well that I think certain people were friends with certain people who were outed for certain actions, um, you know, in the whole like mm-hmm. Me Too thing. And I was obviously tried my best to be really vocal during that time because it seemed an incredibly important thing to like make people aware of. It very important. And it definitely felt like some people after that happened very much distanced themselves from me. Um, And it does make me feel like behind the scenes, there were a lot of people being like, oh, this bitch thinks she can just say whatever she says. Yeah. And I do think that. Yeah. (laughs) But, you know. Do something about it. Dudes like to protect each other. They do. They do, yeah. You know? Yeah. It's a bit of of an issue, really. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I mean, I noticed a few, like, big streamers blocked me when that was going down. And I was like, we've never communicated. Ever. They're also following each other. Do you know what I mean? And then they're like, it makes me very suspicious when like the guys who are like running the community are at, don't want to talk to me, but do want to talk to a bunch of guys who everyone was like, oh yeah, he's yeah, a There was like a really big streamer that blocked you. 
Like, uh, it was like fucking Greek God or someone. Someone like that. Was like, uh, train wrecks. Oh, it was train wrecks. So yeah. people were retweeting this tweet, and I was like, I can't see it. I've never spoken to train wrecks in my life. I have no interaction with him whatsoever. But he's a block me. Did he? He unblocked you, though, didn't he? Or fuck knows. I don't think so. Was like something like that. someone messaged you and apologized or some shit. Oh, mate, so much weird shit happens. People got some. I don't even know. Well, how do you how do you spell this train? Train and then. I mean, if I'm blocked, I can't find him, can I? Oh, that's a good point. I'm pretty sure I'm blocked. I'm pretty okay. sure. Like. Yeah, but I'm like, dude, we've literally never communicated. We've never seen each other. There has been no interaction. Um, What's Flo thinking about? She's thinking about why she got scammed on that treat. She's yeah. like, someone redeemed a treat. Um, yeah, so like, I don't know. I honestly think that be when you're being like an outspoken woman, you are always going to make enemies. I mean, oh, when yeah. you're just being a woman, you're going to make enemies. Oh, when, like, you're, when you're like literally stepping into someone's... Uh, Someone's turf where they feel like they have power. They're not going to appreciate you trying mm -hmm. to take power away from them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't give a hoot. So, yeah, I, did, I just feel like when you were a streamer, you literally cannot, like, trust that anyone kind of has your back. You've just got to do your thing. Mm. Yeah. Wait, man speaking yeah. out, telling it how it is. Woman speaking out, troublemaking bitch. Literally. And I think there was also a vibe when I was like, right. I, like, I was reporting a lot of people to Twitch. I was Trumpy. messaging a lot of people at Twitch. I was just generally, you know. Not to interrupt, but I wanted to take a minute to say I'm really enjoying this just chatting stream. No worries, I am enjoying it too. Um, at all. Uh, he's infamous for complaining about women stealing views on Twitch. Yeah, I like, the thing is, right, I obviously am venting vicariously through you both. I got you, babe. Um, I don't give a actual single fuck about what people think about me. As a woman, especially, too often your behavior is judged based on what people think you're going to be like. They know fucking nothing about you. Never watched your stream, but they're like, oh, she seems like X, Y, or Z. Um, and, you know, all these poor guys who are just trying to make it streamers, getting caught out. And, like, obviously, I run an event. It's very fucking important for me to make sure that anybody who has been outed and behaved in a way that is predatory does not come to my events people were coming to my events who were predators i found out i was horrified they were then very angry at me for saying you can't come to the events anymore i've had in the history of the event i've only ever had to throw like five people out for being like people get chucked out occasionally by security being too drunk or whatever being too rowdy but i've only had to throw a very small number of people out for being really inappropriate to women but when that happens, um, I always obviously make sure that they are banned full stop because that's not the environment I want. Um, and one of those people was a Twitch partner and um, oh, Twitch partner and YouTube man who the was at mutual. the VIP event. I knew him. Bruh. I thought we were. I thought we were fine. He was Been literally out. at the VIP event. Been out with him, touching on people. So he's out. So, but so this is what I'm saying is you literally cannot um, give, if you're going to be in that position, I can't give a fuck about what people think about me as within the community. Like if some people at Twitch don't like me because I'm too outspoken, I literally don't care because I protecting was, people is so much more important. That guy was a fucking pain in the yeah. ass, man. That guy was always messaging me, being yeah. like, do you want to start a business? Do you want to start doing this? Do you want to open a gaming cafe? I was mm -hmm. like, no, I don't want to open a fucking mm -hmm. gaming cafe. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, the ones who are banned from events but still stream regularly, I wonder what their excuse is for not attending. I've seen a few people be like, oh, no, they're lame, they're lame. This is <laughs> just lame, man. I just prefer it, you know, when it's just us, you know, there's no one there, no one fucking, like, you know, keeping an eye, no one, like, doing anything, you know, they, they just chat a lot of shit, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I got people to be sexual demons with their own spouses. I mean, it's, it's, look, look, if, they, if they have, like, a fucking uh, person who agrees with, like, who, like, is, like, consents to what they do and they're very happy mm -hmm. in that relationship mm -hmm. fine but honestly most of these people why don't you just fucking oh yeah you can be a consenting creep yeah like that's what but... i'm saying like why you gotta go out mm. and put that shit on other people like find someone who fucking likes what likes the same shit you do agree with the same shit you do and keep it in your own fucking house stay away from me otherwise i'm gonna fucking do something yeah no um I'm planning on making my own con. We'll start it with insert community meetup just us and then the world who's been saying that shit but no, it happens a lot. And like, I also get people who decide they don't like me 
as is their right, and then go, shit, we tried to do a meetup, 10 people came, it was a disaster. I want to go to Twitch London again. Then someone will message me going, just, I just want to check, is like anyone allowed to come to the event? I'm like, yeah. They're like, even if maybe it's someone you don't like very much. I'm like, yeah, it's not a requirement that I like everybody. It's not my birthday, you weirdo. <laughs> um, so many people Mate, have been like, I've had so have many like people. had one way beef with me yeah. where they're off beefing and then they come back and then they're like, no, I've had like people who have mm -hmm. like, and it's just one of those things where I've had people come up to me and be like, why didn't you invite this person? I'm like, I didn't invite fucking anyone. The like, tickets are freely available. Like, just I literally, come. I didn't invite a single fucking soul. Mm -hmm. I didn't invite anyone. People, I didn't invite the people I like, let mm -hmm. alone people I don't like. Yeah. I don't chat. Do you get a written invitation from me? No. The tickets are there. You grab one if you want one. Um, no, I have been genuinely told off before by people being like, I didn't feel welcome. I'm like, why? And they were like, because you didn't specifically invite me. And I'm like, I arranged the whole event. You can click on the link. You know, good. people genuinely message me being like, I'm a partner. And I'm like, sick, make sure you tick the partner box. And they'll be like, well, why should I have to? Like, I'm not filling it in for you. Sophie's done that a few times where people filled in yeah. the the exact same form, which is like, I would like a ticket. Here's my email well, address. Sometimes, sometimes it's less about like them being like up their own ass. And it's more like herding cats. Do you know what I mean? It's like trying to get streamers to do anything in mass mm -hmm. is like mm -hmm. pulling mm -hmm. fucking nails sometimes. Flo Cam, so cute. I yeah, know, I'm literally chilling. loving it. It's so adorable. Hey, little Flo. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good timing, right? <laughs> oh, hey, Flo. Um, yeah, no, it's just... And I also think, like, I don't know, people... Whoa! Oh, Drave! Drave! Why is this always on my face? <laughs> Drave, thanks. Thanks, that's no, fine. I just, I just feel like whenever, whatever scene we're on, this is on my face. <laughs> like... Oh, oh. It's Emily. Ding! Um, Draith just gifted five subs. That Draith. started a game giveaway. If you guys would like to win a free game, please type exclamation mark, enter into the chat. Draith, um, you're the best, dude. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. But I also see so many people who stream time, guys. get so bummed out. And this is just a general PSA to everybody. Get so bummed out if for a while it feels like they're making friends, right? And then yeah. those friends kind of fade off. They start playing with someone else. They're not really invited around as much anymore. And they will be like gutted. Like, oh my God, I feel so on the outside. I can't stream anymore. I'm going to be taking some time off. My mood, my emotions, my depression. Okay, you, All of which are very real like <clears throat> feeling like you're on the outside or like people don't want to hang out yeah, with you FOMO. anymore sucks FOMO is like the biggest fucking is like so amplified on Twitch yeah that being said it's totally normal <laughs> yeah Twitch does feel like a high school sometimes but this is the thing is everyone is so desperate to be cool so desperate to be in with the right people so desperate to know the right people have the connections oh my god are you G Fuel I'm G Fuel we're all G Fuel let's join FaZe um, and this fucking oh. lame ass twattery that TSM friendly yeah <laughs> <laughs> now I know there's financial benefits yeah, to doing yeah, yeah, TSM yeah, yeah. and stuff like that, but literally people don't really care. So at at a certain point, I think a lot of people on Twitch don't actually care about mm. like it being their job. Like they're the, they're like, okay, well money's coming in passively anyway, as long as I can afford my cat every weekend, I'm alright. But um, every weekend, yeah, yeah, we fucked. Um, chat, five, ten seconds, exclaim. Um, but a lot of people just. It's all about appearances. Mm -hmm. It's not about being sponsored. It's about being sponsored and having that on your, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Like, so well, like, no, but it's also like playing with the right group. people. So people will genuinely, they would stab you in the face to play for half an hour with soda popping. You know, like people would genuinely like, your dad's going to go to prison for a year. Or, you know, and he, he instead of that, he'll get out. Or you can have half an hour with soda popping. And they're like, half an hour with soda popping. Yeah. See you in a year, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it's not, it's 100% true. I'm not lying. It's literally true. And, um, you know, that is the nature of the business. So when people, when people feel like shit, 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 okay, like I got to five viewers fewer than I expected playing with this person, I'm never going to play with them again. Oh my God, somebody wants to, like, this guy who's like a problematic asshole, fucking outed as a rapist, wants to be my friend. Amazing. And it's like, yeah. Office politics, yes. Just trying to get into Among Us lobbies. 
Yeah. And this is oh, why I am. Oh my God, I don't even is... want to merge. Oh, Blinks, next to when we can and we can meet up mm-hmm. and we can go for a beverage. Oh I want to hear we all need about our bitch. it. I'll tell you, you oh. tell me. Um, no, there is so much of that. Like, oh, you were in the queue. I mean, isn't that literally what they've done with all of the role play servers? Where like you have, so you have to be the right size streamer to get access to certain role play servers. Mm-hmm. But then certain um servers will then have a ranking system, right? So if like Lyric or Soda Poppin or Summit or Tifu, I don't know fucking anyone, decide that they want to get on the server, they're the first in the queue. Yeah, they skip. So queue, I've yeah. seen friends who are role players, have been role players for years, right? Who will go like, oh, we've been in the queue six hours today, didn't get in. Guess we'll stream, we'll try again tomorrow. No, it's called queue sim. Yeah. It's like literally queue simulator. Like, uh, I think Jam Jar was the worst of it all. Jam- hey, Postdoc, thank you very much. Po- <laughs> Jam Jar is, is like, we've known him for years. Was uh, I think that's what you're talking about, where he tweeted out. He was like, oh, we're in the queue for seven hours today. We didn't get in. I was actually talking about Wish, but yeah. Oh, Wish. That's also... I, I bit don't, of Wish. I don't specifically keep an eye on... Like, I kind of think if you want to be a role player, you got to deal with that shit. That's just how it is. But a lot of the people who are like the OGs who like got role playing where it is today are like well, the the end of the list, I you know? I don't really keep up with anything. I don't really follow those people. But last I heard, Soda Poppin actually couldn't play role play anymore because every time he logged on, he'd have 15 people around him. Which is literally everyone in the server. Mm-hmm. And it's like... And it's just like, okay, so like... Everyone and every single, all 15 people are like, oh, no, I just, just happened to be here. It's just organic role play. No, I um, don't blame those people at all because mm. literally that could, like, that's life changing. Playing with mm. Soda Poppin can end up being like, I think playing with Soda Poppin is actually how um, Vader got big. I think you're right. That yeah. was role playing that old man. But also, yeah. you know, not only that, but also Vader is a very good role player. Yes. I'm not trying to take anything away from no, him. No, but you won't. You can be the greatest streamer ever, but yeah. if people have never clicked on your stream, they won't know that you're the greatest streamer ever. Exactly. Look so, at us. Look, sitting here. No, literally. The this, greatest streamers. This entire two hours has been Fred and I explaining why we're not bigger than we are because we're trash. Because um, we're like, we could do this, but we won't do it because of our morals. We could do that, but we won't do that either. Um, like, yeah, Blink. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. And honestly, like, it is like a bit of a. Um, once you're in that little in group, right? Once you're in that in group and you uh, you all just circular host and circular raid each other, it's like literally like so they're all raiding host in the same household mm-hmm. as well. And it's just like yeah. you just get end, end up with like this like you can't <laughs> not be big, you know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding, say bossy. I'm very happy and impressed by Fred and I's ability to both keep our morals, enjoy our life, create a supportive, glorious community, and not do things that um Chat. That make me feel like shit. Um, I invite you to type in slash user space family. Right? I invite you to type that in. I invite you to look at when my account was created on Twitch. Yes. And I invite you to realize that I have been doing this as a full time job almost that entire time. Which is in itself, and that's something I always say to Fred is like almost no one has been a full time streamer as long as you have ever. Million. I could name more people who have come and gone than have come and stayed, even as a hobby. So, like, at the end of the day... And by the way, I'd like to inform you all that my account was created on June 24th, 2010. Yes. And yes, that was a year before Twitch was founded. <laughs> my account, my, my, my Twitch account is older yeah. than Twitch. Um, yeah, I could write and sell a killer guide on how to grow as a female streamer in 2021. And yet, I won't do those things myself, just out of laziness. And that's the thing as well, is it's like, there's a mixture of, like, I don't want to, or they feel uncomfortable to me, but also just, like... I'm just not interested in creating that kind of community, you know? No band um, seems sus. Yeah. Fred started Twitch. I did, I did, I did. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, so raiders don't do much nowadays. Being a partner in crime is so much better. Yes, being being in the meta is better, but when you get a host that takes you from middle of the pack to top of the category... Mm-hmm. It's good for you. It's not yeah. bad for you. Saying that, um, getting front page these days isn't as big as it used to be. No. I mean, I see people who get front page a lot and they basically, the only benefit they get to that is they actually sell their front page time to companies. And that's literally like, I don't know how, like fucking how much Twitch likes that. And if they found out, they probably wouldn't be very impressed. But um, it's like getting the front page doesn't actually like, increase. It's like basically a view bot. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't yeah. actually increase the number, number of people. In your well, stream. the thing is, Scotty, I don't necessarily believe that um, 
children don't know about charm and brains and talent. It's just that none of those things will make you famous. So in a world where being famous is essentially like being royalty of old, right? Walking into a room and everyone looks at you and everyone cares what you're wearing and everyone talks about you, right? <laughs> 10,000 kumas now. <laughs> uh. 10,000 kumas. Um, no, but the thing is, when the only way to like raise your position in society is by becoming famous and the necessity for charm brains and talent are not there for being famous instead it's knowing how to play the game knowing how to work the algorithm knowing how to make shareable content mm -hmm. at that point you have to look at the system that's making these people famous right yeah. it's not like oh these kids don't appreciate what it is to be famous these days it's these kids have had to learn a new way of doing it you know um no sir brains no man Stupid as brains that. never benefited fame. Good God! No, no, if you if you want to be famous, you better be stupid. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you uh, you know, if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. If you're gonna be famous, you better be dumb. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> it's so it's so ridiculously unimportant about being smart. Be it's not about. There are certain like business decisions, but I, honestly, at the end of the day, it's more yeah zero zero self awareness. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, being dumb is benefit because people can laugh at you. And like a lot of people will like watch Tim the Tatman to laugh. I mean, Tim the Tatman's. We all love Tim the Tatman, right? Tim the Tatman is one of the probably one of the. It least feels like saying someone is dumb is like insulting. really insulting, but a lot of people who make content will deliberately play up that angle yes. of their ignorance or their dumbness because it gets laughs and it's a little bit like watching my 600 pound life or something where you're like sure i'm fat but i'm not that fat yeah. <laughs> i know i'm stupid but at least i know that the well the, the joke is this, this, you're watching the you're islands watching... aren't floating on water yeah you know? tim and sat man's four island that islands were floating on water and if you dug straight down you'd hit water anyway uh <laughs> So, you know what I mean? You then go, and that was really funny. That was but funny. There are a subset of people who watch and they only watch to go, I'm great. That's made me feel better about myself and it feels like I'm hanging out with the bros. So, mm -hmm. you took the end of your thumb off with the microphone on Friday. Deets, you literally just gonna have stubs left. Swear like, God, Deets. Christ. You're gonna be like cell taping knives to your fucking like stubs and like trying to cook like that. Yeah, but Scotty, back in the day, if you asked most kids what they wanted to do, they'd want to be a dancer or they'd want to be a musician or a DJ or a actor. The majority of children will go as far as making a few YouTube videos, getting no cl no clout with it, realizing they've got no fucking idea what they're doing and going somewhere else. Like There was never a time in history where if you asked a kid what they wanted to be, they'd say accountant. You know? Yeah. There was never a time when I, someone oh, would say social worker. Yeah. I kids, wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Kids always want to be the cool stuff. And be, right now, being a social media person is cool because it's like seen as 24-7 partying. That might... that. That attitude and I'll might be change. Friends soon. with all my cool dudes. Yeah, yeah, I'll have all the cool friends, and I won't have to work. And my work, if I do work, it's literally going to be recording myself drinking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like people wanted to be. Yeah, you want to be a fireman. I wanted to be. I think I wanted to be a road work digger because I thought the big machines were cool. Fred, no, but Sophie wanted to be a face painter, and she actually tried to quit to, to quit school at like nine. She was like, I know enough. Maybe younger, mm -hmm. actually, maybe like six. She was literally like, I know enough. I'm going to go be a face painter. That's a sick job. Um, and then my, my parents had to sit down and be like, right, well, what if six people come along and they all want their face painted, but then you have to give one of them a discount? And she was like, fine, I'll go to one more year of school to finish up this mathematics thing. And then I'm a face painter, <laughs> which is cute. But like kids are dumb. It's fine. Yeah. You got to remember when we, when, mm. when I was like grew up as well, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have like the internet like it is now. Do you know what I mean? Like it, the internet was around, mm. but it was like, Oh, no, no, no. I, mean, I didn't get the internet until like nine. Boards, you know um, I, mean? I wanted to be an underwater paleontologist, but I don't think it's a real job. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember those three weeks. And as long as you can, as long as you can handle yeah. the mental damage that is people going, what happened to the two thousand viewers? I thought you got two thousand. I got thirty. That is so such a huge ego. boost. It's not even a joke, um, dude. I thought you had two thousand viewers. 
Dude, what happened to you? And it's so it's so easy to sort of be like, oh yeah, that wouldn't bother me. But trust me, guys. Even like for me, and I've been we've been doing this both like for like hundred years, hundred years. So like exactly. for us, it's literally ducks. If someone comes in and it, it's like I can see straight through what they're trying to do, mm-hmm. so it doesn't bother me. So when someone comes in, like and it's like Fred, didn't you used to get like seven hundred viewers? And I'm like, yeah, but I had like fucking one hundred subs. Now I've got twelve hundred subs and I've got a uh, hundred and fifty viewers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like Be- Paula Verzi, are you enjoying little flow cam? Yeah, man. I think everybody's having a nice time with flow. No, but that's the thing, right? Is like, but the minute you start getting 10 viewers and then you get a few raids that get you to 100, then you go back to 15 and everyone's like, what happened to your 100? You would feel bad about it, you know? First time Fremily raided me, I was being troll bombed by a French gaming website. I'd set, um, because I'd set them... I'd upset them. I wish I could read by saying I've forgotten most of the French I used to know. That was fun. Hmm. Smile. Nice. Um, wow. 3.3 million followers. You really blew up. I don't have the heart to tell them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> did you, did you get follow bombed or what, botted? Oh yeah. I think you you're did. Like, yeah. yeah. 3 million followers. Wow, you really blown up. Wow. wow. Blinks. By the way, chat, I haven't mm-hmm. said it yet. If you guys don't, if you guys aren't, aren't following Blinks, mm-hmm. sort your lives out. Go give her a follow. She's awesome. You should. Um, I think I saw you playing like Apex or something the other day, right? Skill Gecko. Yep. Thank you for the follow. That was nicely timed. Um, well, now it's time for an ad. You little shit. Offline hosted for 700. <laughs> You're like, hey, everyone, enjoy your adverts. Um, also yeah. what happened, which is even worse. Yeah. Dude. People are just trash. They just, Yo, a lot of people just come in because they want a reaction. Yeah. And you can either give them the reaction and then put it on Twitter for views or not. <laughs> if, no, you're like, gonna, if you're going to, if you're going to put someone in their place, monetize it. <laughs> um, but if not, then mm. it's actually better just to sort of be like, ciao. And honestly, genuinely, if someone gives you shit at the time, it feels like you're like, you little motherfucker. You know, you're like, you're like, oh, I fucking, oh, I'll kill you. But, um, <laughs> in an hour's time, you would never remember them. Like nope. they're, they're, that memory is deleted mm-hmm. from your brain. That just doesn't stay in your brain. Yeah, they do have the worst CPM ever. Guys, top of the hour every hour, we do a game giveaway. We also run a 30 second advert. If you would like to win a free game, make sure you are following the stream and type exclamation mark. Enter if you are not a sub, you will see an advert. Don't panic. It will be over. It, it, it will be quick and painless, I swear. And if you're a tier two or a tier three sub, you're automatically entered. Nice. Um, so, hooray. Hopefully, you'll win something. Pressing the button now. I tell you about Paula Bursey. I oh, can't hear because you're watching an ad. I was going to say, they want to steal They want to steal flow. And I was like, you can have her all the exact time she wants to throw up. And then you have to give it back immediately. Toxic. You, you can have all the bomb. Wow. That's terrible. You're trash. Uh. Ow! Not the vomit. Um, wait, why are we scr- why are we squinting at wooden coats? <laughs> What's he know. done? Uh, exclamation mark rig. Mm. That's wooden coats custom. Ah! Uh. <laughs> um. Uh, I think I'm number fifteen among people with, like Pokey and Ibay. Did- why not? Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck Sit it. there. Shit. Yeah. Like. Don't Honestly, even the legi- like people worry a lot about the legitimacy of their success, and I'm like, legitimacy is only a thing if you forget that everybody else is just as illegitimate. Legitimacy. There is for nothing chunks. anyone else has done <laughs> that makes them more legitimate than you. You know, you can do like your second ever stream, and everyone be like, "This is the tits." Get a thousand viewers and stay there forever. There's nothing there's illegitimate a, about that. There's a very prominent. Um, streamer who started streaming and then made videos about how to become a big streamer because they're a big streamer. And their f- the, do you know how they got started? They played with two other big streamers with their friends. Yeah. So they got they 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 uh, they they basically started streaming and they were like, "Oh, it's so easy. Why doesn't everyone just become a streamer?" It's like you already had two friends or a huge giant streamer who had like started. twenty thousand views. So like, imagine you were friends with two people who had twenty thousand viewers average yeah. and then started playing with them no shit you're gonna get viewers imagine if you were and Summit's then, best friend yeah they were also like <laughs> and then I paid for good branding the end and you're like uh, <coughs> um like I think wait Deets, I don't even mod here and I still squint don't bully wood and code masked flame thank you for the follow Yo, so it's one of those things where like at the end of the day legitimacy is fake it's all fake. It's all a fucking lie. If you're getting the viewers and you're making the money and you're having a good time and you're 
channel is growing. Hooray, you've achieved the win. Well, do you remember when they were doing, uh, what game was it where it was, do you remember? I don't know. So so do you remember more than that. Okay, so you, I think it was Valorant. Valorant was coming out, and the only way to get drops on Valorant was to watch people playing Valorant, right? Mm -hmm. So a few streamers decided they were going to stream 24-7, right? And um, uh, who's the guy who we, who we know who did that? Um, so we, Valkyrie did it a little bit. Oh, on screen. On screen, right? So on screen did it too, right? And um, I didn't, I, I, I'm like, fine. If you, if you want to stream that much, fuck it, go for it. I don't give a fuck. Like literally it affects my life 0%. But a lot of people were like, oh, fucking, oh, what they're doing is wrong. And I'm like, oh, does it affect you? No, shut the fuck up. So, Basically, if I got angry every time somebody does something I wouldn't personally do. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, I'm not going to do it. Exactly. I'm not going to say great job. But so like, like a lot of people consider that, consider that that view account illegitimate right he mm -hmm. got like he got ahead like probably like fifty thousand viewers mm -hmm. right and everyone's like those aren't real fifty thousand viewers it's like who cares like mm -hmm. maybe they are who gives a fuck how do you know and now on screen averages probably like three four five thousand viewers mm -hmm. whereas before he was averaging like one two hundred mm -hmm. and i'm like well i mean a lot of people would say that's illegitimate yeah but he's still got them well that was the interesting thing blinks i saw both sides of that where some people were running were, were streaming for five hours and then running 19 hours of VODs. Replays, yeah. And then some people were streaming for 20 hours and running four hours of VODs while trying to get some sleep. I think they were both. Every every side of that is clearly working the system. But if the system is broken, mm. you know what I mean? Um, yeah, they were restreaming it live, not even just reruns. A hundred percent. And I'm pretty sure that you're not allowed rules. to do that now. But it wasn't against the rules then. And it like, wasn't against no rules. It doesn't mean that I like it. And again, I wouldn't do it. But then again, I'm sitting here with 170 of the most beautiful people you've ever seen. Whereas, you. right, they're sitting there with thousands or not, you know. Yeah, basically, Twitch is a shambles. <laughs> <laughs> success is success is success no yes. matter how you find it yes. you can fucking be but i see i see people getting angry at youtubers coming over to twitch because you because youtube sucks and twitch is good and that the people are like oh but they're not real streamers it doesn't matter are you seeing see thieving today scratch neck i need that drop here i don't know i'm enjoying just chatting shit i am enjoying just chatting shit we could just go into the category for 20 minutes get everybody a drop and then leave no that's crime you're not allowed to do that are you no um, but what if we went into the category and then our game just didn't work oh no and then leave <laughs> maybe i don't know we're just chatting shit just for a bit now we're currently chatting shit i was gonna say after like the last few days of playing sea of thieves and how every other the the season in sea of thieves are so quiet and shite right now it's yeah they made they they put the season out and made it worse there's like no good PvP. Mm. Everything's lagging. Why? Yeah, everything's lagging, which is really annoying. Yeah. And also, I don't know. Like, it was really popping before. We were getting to PvP every day. We we're getting to these long drawn out fights. Yeah, and it was lit. But now, half the time I'm lagged to space, and the other half of the time there's no one to find, mm. even when I'm like zooming around looking for them. Um, oh my god! Look at this cat. Look at that little tongue. <laughs> Also, to be clear, right, when I don't know when Fred said this, but if Fred said, for example, that YouTubers often make bad streamers, that doesn't mean every YouTuber makes bad streamer. No. Just often. So if you have found a YouTuber who makes great streamer, fuck yeah. But a lot of them are bad. A lot of them are bad. A lot Tons of, them are of people are like, I'm going to stream. Wait, this is trash. And then don't continue doing it. My favorite story. My favorite story. And this is I'm saying this is I'm saying right now. This isn't just a good story. It's my, his favorite my story. Favorite story. I mean those words. Uh, was when Ninja was blowing up, and Ninja had like three hundred thousand like Prime subscribers, right? And I think yeah, you know, whatever. I don't like Ninja. No, no, no. But that's like millions a month, millions of pounds just in subs, ignoring ad revenue, ignoring bits, ignoring donations a month. It's literally a million dollars a month. Yes. Yeah. Um, from 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 these subs, right? And um. The whole thing, that's when Prime sort of like became like a thing, right? Every Everyone was like being like, drop a Prime, you got that Prime sub, you know, um, all all the time. Uh, have you heard about Amazon Prime? Oh, that's where all these memes came from. Mm -hmm. It came from Ninja blowing up with Prime. So a bunch of YouTubers came over, right? Came over to Twitch and a lot of them streamed and got their, you know, got their affiliate, got their partner. This one person came over, this one this one person came over, he made a, made a Twitch account 
and he didn't stream on it and he put all the prime he had all this branding for prime down below his stream he's like prime this prime now oh my god drop prime drop prime and it was jake paul and he didn't stream because twitch said he that he didn't have prime he didn't have a sub button he didn't he didn't have one he'd never streamed before he was a fresh account yeah and um they he was his his uh from what i heard his agent his agent was like yo uh so we need to get this to get this account partnered and twitch said yeah, there's the path to part. There's the path to affiliate, and when, once he gets that, he can do path to partner. And he streamed like four times. And, and they like, were like, they were saying it whilst doing this. Do you know what I mean? They yeah, like, yeah, he can do affiliate. They were like, yeah, yeah. There's a whole, there's a whole system for this. So he's got to stream. He's got to get his average viewers. He's got to make sure he streams twelve times in a month. So and good. then, um, so good. Oh, yeah. Mate. I think I've got a fucking half a chub from from that it story. Was, no, when we like legit, because we were like, oh yeah, that was funny. And then someone we know at Twitch was like, yeah, that's what happened. We were like, oh, mm. oh, mm. my erection. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm not paying attention to what you're saying and I'm more paying attention to Flo. Perfect. Look, you guys deserve to see Florence like in all of her ridiculousness. Yeah. Look at this stupid cat. She is ridiculous. And I feel like this is nice. I'm having a nice time. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, yeah. Uh, wait, I was going to read something. Hang on. It went off the top. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, no. So YouTube, often people don't really balance the YouTube and Twitch things super well. What I have to say about Twitch as a platform that is amazing Ponce is, is that Twitch one. do a fucking fantastic job at allowing monetization to take place before twitch there was no youtube join the fucking channel shit there was no um there there was no subscriptions there was no like everyone just had to have a patreon and twitch changed the game with that stuff and that is why people do it is because if you're a committed fan you may or may not join a patreon but like oh you're here i can i can have a sub and get a few emotes and get a shout out I'll do that because, you know, at the end of the day, people want their minute of attention for their mm -hmm. money, which is totally fine. Yeah. Um, and well, I've always said also that. it's in baked into the site. You don't have to click on another site and click on another thing and work out the taxes. Yeah. You know, um, well, I've often had people like ask me like opinion, like people who have streamed, they've all, I, for some reason, even though we've always been a, a stream that's averaged like between 150, 200 viewers, like that's literally like... We're not like a 500 viewer stream. I get people who get like five times my viewer count asking me opinions and questions all the mm -hmm. time and you. And um, I've always been like, all right, like my one piece of advice, right? So like when someone supports the stream, those next few seconds, those like that moment after belongs to them and what you're, whatever you're doing should like pause for that. Yeah. Yeah. I always say that. Like when someone has gone to the effort of giving you some fucking money, say thank you. But people are like, no, that seems desperate. And I'm like, but you want, you're asking me how to get more subs. Say I've watched your you. stream. It's like, bong, someone just gave you $20. And you're like, all right, thanks, you. Someone in the house just gave you some money. Say thank you. Yeah. It's not fucking big like, brain I, I behavior. Know, I know that after a mm -hmm. while, like you've got like, uh, you've got like a thousand subs, right? And you get mm -hmm. like a few bongs per day. Like we had 22 uh, subscribers a day and we're sitting here. But you got to remember that that's every time someone does something, whether they follow, whether they subscribe, whether they give bits, give that, give a dono, mm -hmm. if they give like $2 or give like a hundred bits or something like that, that's someone physically doing that, sending money mm -hmm. that they worked for, sending it to you. And I'm like, at the very least, a thank you. Ladies. And it's also fine if you don't want to thank them, yeah. but then don't ask them to do it again because they probably won't yeah you know well, it was one of the um <laughs> i give coins spend ben wisely. <laughs> <laughs> no i remember this one time right where um i think it was wreckful wreckful was streaming right and wreckful was kind of like he streamed and he was sort of like very it was one of those streamers where it's sort of like if you'd give him like a hundred dollars he'd be like thanks and that's all you'd really get mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and it was kind of cool that was like that was his vibe and he kind of like didn't he didn't like yeah, he was already a bill he was already a millionaire at that point, billionaire. He was a millionaire. And then I remember he was like streaming with Soda Pop, and Soda Pop was like, You're not gonna read out those messages. And Soda Pop was really taken aback. He was like, oh. I remember this like one of the few times where I actually gained some respect for Soda Pop in. <laughs> he like ruined it a few months later. But I actually had some respect for him at that point. And he was like, What? Like, no, you have to and it was kind of a really like good moment to see. Yeah, and he was like, like well, someone just gave you that. Someone sent it. You should read it out and say yeah. thank you. And, and he like, was like, Do you want me to read them out and say thank you? And it yeah. was someone else's stream. Yeah. And I was like, That's pretty that's pretty That's awesome. pretty cute, yeah. Um But yeah, I mean, there are also obviously, and I think Blanks was just mentioning it, like you've got a lot of good eggs and then a few bad eggs. 
and you know there are people who do use their platform mm -hmm. as in a way to like do horrible things within the community and it is obviously like something that's worth being aware of yeah, whatever. Thanks, Pixel Bridge. Oh, whatever, mate. <laughs> Who? Shit, I forgot. I was being it's honest. <laughs> I'm fired. Um, also, King Rich, I appreciate your input that we would be good at GTA, a roleplay. Um, I don't want to do it. No. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. I, the it's, drama is not worth. I, for one week, five years ago, was a role player. It did double my view account. It did? And Right, that was a week I was a 500 viewer, Andy. And chat was pretty dead. No one subbed. And um, every single evening, I had to get dragged off to TeamSpeak because it was that long ago. At which point, I would have to have a conversation with someone about why I rudely said the police officer was stream sniping, even though he drove up on a pink motorbike, screaming my name, did a backflip, shot me in the head. Um, and I was like, oh, he's a stream sniper. And they were like, you must provide evidence. I am just not, I do not have the fucking fortitude. The fucks to give. I do not have the fucks in my arsenal. And if somebody came up to me and said, I <laughs> think your role play was bad, <laughs> I would probably poke them in the eye. I don't care if you think my role, like I genuinely see people discussing like if it was good or bad role play. And I'm like, Mind your business. Wait, it's like, okay, not to be and not to be like a dick, right? But like with role play, I am I do struggle to I do struggle to be a thirty five year old man playing pretend in my bedroom. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's it's like I'm not trying to judge people. Role play is entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's like it is like a show and stuff like that. And I do I do understand, but there's part of my brain, part of my brain that is a bit embarrassed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit sort of yeah. like, oh, especially when like people like role play a race they aren't. This hurts me. And uh, they're like... I hate when the server is all white people and everybody is like, I'm so hood, I'm so ghetto. Yeah, yeah, my, name's, yeah my name's little fucking... Little fucking Jermaine. Kev. Little fucking Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just be like... Maybe <laughs> we should be, got on the bus for my day saver. <laughs> No, do you know what I mean? Um, uh, you're, you're too old for this. Yeah, and it's also about if you enjoy it, right? If you are having the best time of your life, hung low. <laughs> little tain. Um, no, if you're having the best time of your life, fucking live your dreams. Uh, Who cares yeah. if you're 40 and you love doing that? But I just, it's not even like I don't get embarrassed. It's so hard to get I embarrassed don't. as a streamer anymore. Um, role players Karen and Stan. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? That would be hilarious. Except people would genuinely, for the rest of my life, be like, oh yeah, you're probably that Karen. Yeah. Because people, especially gamer dudes who don't spend enough time with women, do like to put you in a box of you're this kind of woman, although you're that kind of woman. Like, oh, you take pictures of me in your underwear? I know exactly what you're like. You don't. I'm just in my underwear. Problem is, like, right? you know what I mean? The problem is with role play. Role play is so contrived. And it's 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 just probably the poshest thing I've ever said, by the way. Um, it's so contrived because honestly, I'd be like sitting there, and I, the plan would be like, how do I go? How do I? If I'm gonna be a chav, right, for instance, and I want to like drive my fucking shite car past someone, like if I get like a Fiesta in GTA roleplay somehow, I drive past someone, I go booyaka booyaka. Do you know what I mean? How do I? I I'm like, who who can I drive past and say booyaka at? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm yeah. Just yeah. Like, I'm just like, I'm just not. I'm not that kind of gamer, personally. No. Well, maybe one day, like, I remember Vader was like, you guys should roleplay. And I was like, Vader, mate, I know that you now live in a golden swimming pool. I know you have a closet full of hundreds of velvet t-shirts. He's the smoothest man. He yeah. wears a lot of velvet t-shirts. you guys didn't know, Vader only wears velvet t-shirts. Yeah. You know. Every time he comes to a Sunday, he's in a different velvet t-shirt. Velour. But I don't know, you can't argue with it. It's real enough. velour. But that was even before he was a big streamer. So, yeah. you know, it's he's not changed. It's little cat. Um, She's so fucking cute. But, right, he was like, you should do it. And I was like, no. Because I don't fucking want to. I don't want and to. I don't think it would be fun. And I think that I'd just spend six hours in a queue and then get in a row with somebody and then have to deal with some, like, white girl pretending to be, six like, Six hours in a queue would be the best Toya for us. Jackson, wait, what? Yeah, six hours in 
The six hours of the queue. The best stream me and Emily ever had. We got 90 brand new subs in one day. Not even gifted. Like 90 yeah. people subscribed. And there wasn't even Prime back then. Mm -hmm. When we were like stuck in the queue waiting for H1Z1 when it first came out. When it was a survival game, not a battle royale. I need more hype games with broken servers. Oh. That is the apex of friendly content. Right. Dude, that was amazing. We had like, not, like, like there was no gift subs. There was no prime sub. There was no. only five dollars a sub. There was not even tier two, tier three. Yeah. There was only there was only give me a fiver, and we got ninety people. We to had nine hundred viewers. Man. All right. No, I mean maybe one day I will I will change my mind and I will become a role player. Maybe, maybe. I will, but I just don't think I will. I don't. I don't think I, I don't will. Think I Honestly, will. I hate most of these motherfuckers. Like, I fucking go on there and like, XQC's got 100k viewers and I'm like, man, it's 100,000 idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't be dealing with the DMs again. Okay, we're not, we're not creating. I don't know, man. I'm I've fine. just, I've just <laughs> sent a lot of people just on roleplay and I've, I've like, there's like fucking like the whole thing with like Sheriff Eli where like he plays an arsehole and everyone's like, oh shit. Oh no. There's a chance Sheriff Eli might just be an asshole. Yeah. And all that sort of shit. And there's this whole, like, the family role play shit where they all had their internal drama. I, I remember seeing it all on live, on live stream fails. And I remember, like, everyone, like, mm -hmm. freaking. You guys do not <sighs> understand. You don't understand how much stress I'm saving myself, how unaged I'm going to look. They're all going to be 40, right? Dried out husks of stress and adrenaline, right? I will be hydrated, yeah. refreshed. My skin will be clear. It's just giving us the eye. Look yeah. at this. She's sort of like She's posing. like, bitch, hydrated. I see you. <laughs> Intense flow stare. Oh my God, what she's she so cute. At? Chat, how much to go and just nibble on her toe? Chat, watch this, watch this. I wanna... So you know, Flor you know her name's Florence, right? Mm -hmm. Florence, Florence, Florence. Watch this. Oh, doesn't oh, give a fuck doesn't anyway. Doesn't give a fuck. She knew you were trying to get her attention. Look, her ears been see, going. See. Yeah. Oh, you've ruined it. Don't, don't, in, don't encourage her. No, she doesn't know I can't say it. Like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Wish she's up shouting. I'm her name is sleep. actually click, click, click. Kiss, kiss, kiss. When's the Astro 40, your boy? Oh, fuck. Yeah, we've got to draw I it. I think we can draw it, actually. Okay, I, I owe Florence two treats, but I don't want to get up because she will leave the box. She, she will leave. Reese and Hazonku have both redeemed them, and that is very reasonable. I've got to chase some of these up. People aren't fucking sending me the details. I've got like two giveaways where like, people haven't like sent me the shit. Oh shit. Well, if we chase them up, yeah. um, we might have to redraw some. Be lots of treats. All right, I'm going to draw a winner. Uh, we got, um, oh, literally hardly anyone joined. Is there one. anyone here who hasn't joined the headset giveaway? Can we reopen it for one second or is no. that not possible? Right, you were too slow. Talks to you guys. This website obeys the law and the law says no. Um, Quite fine. Right, chat. You missed it. Well, let me double check. Let me double check. Make sure that is the case. Um, no, there's not even an edit button. No. There isn't, there's not even an edit hey, It's been up for like two weeks. It's not my fault that you guys don't do it. All right. I'm going to draw uh, it now. We get one every month, guys. Balanced. It's always up. Exclamation mark giveaway every time. Fucking You've all failed. <laughs> Jesus Chat, Christ. you are a bunch of bell enders. Right. All so right, draw. Chat, bell ends and draw a winner. That's... Chat, someone has won. The hey, next big thing. Congratulations. Next big thing. You nice. have won. I all don't right. know if next big thing Confirm. Is Send email. Bada bing, bada boom. Bing, bang, bong. I think I actually entered this month. Hey. Do you see Next little, big thing has won. Do you see Florence's little overbite? Um, can we in any way show this? No. Uh, I can take a screenshot, but I can't because he's got his email. Yeah, no, 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 I don't. It's... I don't want to. That's why I was asking if there was a... So for the other one, there used to be a <clears> widget <throat> that you could announce the winner with. I don't know if this one has a... Hang on, if I click on it. If I go to the... Yes, if you if you want, guys, you can click on it and you can see who won. Yes, yeah. um, but maybe can you re-email any of the people who originally? Who yeah, won I can. I can send another thing. Months? Yeah, just be like, wait, lads, I need your, I need your, I need your info. Um, hey, Mr. Owen, he's like in the stream all the time. Mr. Owen won twenty days ago and he hasn't redeemed his headset. I will respin. I will pick someone else. Oh, I actually have to send this one off. <laughs> good. That's my fault. Right. There was one that was Fred's fault. And this person needs a re like Wolfman. Wolfman. Right, everyone's been re emailed. Cool. Good. Send us your details. Um uh, Yes. When Dor Scotty, when did Doris win this? Has she still not got it? So basically, right, there was a All subset, right, there was a time where things were delayed Christmas. with Astro over Christmas. And then People, but people didn't tell us. 
Uh, right? Okay. So, no, it was like whom won in April, but didn't tell us he hadn't received it till October, <laughs> by which point he was fucked. <laughs> he so got, then, so here's now. what happened, right? <laughs> So literally, so if you if we send the info to Astro, Astro do not tell us it's been fulfilled. No. So you guys have to tell us. Obviously, not everybody tweets out or announces that they won something, which is totally fine. But then people will go, oh, it's been six months. So then I'll message Astro and they'll go, we've, we've so already sold them all for Christmas. Doris, Doris messaged me a little while ago and I, I actually said I'd catch up. I'd like send it off again. I did send it off again. If she's still not got it, I'm going to do it again. Yeah, just keep doing it. Just keep doing Be it. like... So I can't message anyone now because it's Sunday. But yeah, no one's no one's ever in. But hang on, I'm gonna like, I'm just re- She might get two. Fuck it. It's not my fault, is it? No. Honestly, it does no, who, feel who like. Who got two headsets? It was fucking hilarious. Um, my favorite thing though is there's a there's just a prizing form we have to fill in. We fill it in, we send it off, and then from then it's win in Astro's hands, right? But what's really funny? Yeah, if it's from November, then she got fucked over the Christmas time when everything got sold. Um, what's really funny is in the form, the top bit is. Your streamer handle, and then in capitals, not the winners, yours. Do not put some random person I don't know in here, which is like the funniest thing because everyone's like, winner, bend over. And they're like, no, whose channel is this coming from? You. But while it is annoying when things don't get sent out in a timely manner, I have tried to set up this yeah, from September. thing. Fuck. Right? I have tried to set up this giveaway system with companies before and no one will do it. Even for free promo. No one wants to do people it. Don't, people don't like doing it, man. So, like, I give Astro a shout out for being the only company in the history of the world who want to give you guys something every month. Well, that's the one thing I have to be that's careful it. about, Reese. I do have to be careful about submitting the form too many times and I have to tell mm-hmm. them, by the way, don't send this person 15 headsets. Well, that's the thing. You have to put the month that they won for mm. in. So every time we put September or whatever, but sometimes they're like, ah, oh, this guy won three times in October. Amazing. And you're like, no. No, Astro are the best. The Astro are really, really good. Yeah. They, they, do this, they do this for us and it's amazing. It's just that mm-hmm. the logistics are kind of like can be a little bit funny sometimes. Yeah. Especially over Christmas where they didn't actually have the stock to send out. Because obviously yeah. they're going to send out, if people pay for it, they obviously at the front of the queue. Mm. If you win one for free, you get it when you get it. Yeah, you know what I mean. So like, you got yours before Doris got hers. So yeah, basically. But like, I and they're super nice, and they were engaging in BLM before it's fashionable, and they are they drop racist shitlords they sponsor oh. and all that good oh. shit. Oh. You haven't given us your email address, Scar. Your your Scar, address. Actually, Scar was the person that gave us. But that was actually the one where I fucked up. Oh, that's our fault. We haven't submitted it. Sorry. Yeah. That is actually my fuck up. So there were two others. Owen and Wolfman haven't given us their information. You have. Wyvern. Thanks. Yeah. Stop time traveling. It's rude. <laughs> How's the weather? I want to know what's coming. Um, no, Wyvern, thank you so much, guys. Raise a fist, give Wyvern some love. You're a babe. Yeah, for some reason, even though I... Uh, so basically, with, with player.gg, um, I, I send you an email through them and you you fill out your, your address through them, but they don't tell me when you've replied. So yeah, we then have to so check So unless I, if I don't check, mm-hmm. unless I say I, say I did, no, you're cool, dude. No. I'm, doing it, I'm doing it now, don't worry. Yes, Fred's submitting it literally right now. Nearly. Do, 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 do. But yeah, um, uh, player.gg don't notify me when you've like sent me in your information. So we so... have to periodically check it. And, and go, I've got oh. memory like a sieve, so you know. It's literally a sieve. Do you need a fucking PA? Deets. I need so many things. I need a hug. I need a personal assistant. I need a fucking... I don't even know. What country is this? Um... Hang on. I'm going to mute so as not to dox your country. Unmuted. All right, cool. Kuala Lumpur chat. Um, Bloody, uh... Emily has a PA. Sophie is not my PA. Good <laughs> Lord. I'm like, Sophie, would you post this on the way? And she's like, you can A, fuck yourself, and B, die. Bear in mind, um, Sophie does offer to, to do stuff like that for us, but then we, we, when we ask her, she's like, no. no. <laughs> she's like, I'll do it. Not now, you lunatic. Next month, maybe. <laughs> Um. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. No. No. Look, I have a lot to do. Items order from the UK take long to get through customs. That's also true. Yeah. yeah there's a whole lot of palaver 
it is what it is, is brexit has shaped us all january sky yeah it was january january do i guys ever find energy for socials not for socials hey swiss star thank you not for socials but we do now have at least one good youtube editor mm. great news um the we went from oh the new video is so good <sighs> I kind of want to show you the first 30 seconds of both videos that we re- that we paid for. Oh, I'm so happy, dude. Genuinely, like, holy fucking shit. Like, I, when I got a video back and it wasn't tits. <laughs> oh, so good. Back. Um, do you have it? I kind of uh, want yeah, to show yeah, everyone. So we got a new video, which we're not going to show you, I guess. I actually might get a couple of minor tweaks and then get uploaded. Well, it's the first draft and he hasn't done it. He's basically... Oh, like so we're going to... But I want to compare it to the old video. Oh, the old video. I want to play the terrible one for oh everyone. Lord, oh and Lord. then maybe play the first 30 seconds of the new video so you guys can see the difference. I don't know if the old video survived the purge. Oh, well, hang on. It should still be in my Google Doc. So there was there was the one that didn't <laughs> have... Um, yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, there was the one that didn't actually... Did all this play here? <laughs> Make sure your voice meter is like. Yeah, I'm gonna up. just check everything. Hang on. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna play the shit video. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm gonna play the shit video, and then I will actually show you maybe like the first thirty seconds of the new, not finished, but. Oh wait, let me check my banana. How's my banana? You gotta inspect the banana. It's broken, hey, Jed Med. Bananas, bro. The old video is art at its finest. Fucking fart at its fucking finest. Yeah, it's working. So I recorded a little intro. Can, yeah. That oh, might be a bit deafening. Do you think it's a bit deafening? Go no, there, it's fine. Go there, go there. Fine. All right, chat. This is the old video. We commissioned it. We paid money. We thought it was going to be good. Update. It wasn't good. It was terrible. So that was a big disappointment. Um, yep. There. Actually, that's fine. Right, so I recorded a little intro for it, which is what you're seeing here. Hi, bye, hi, <laughs> Emily here. So we've been hunting trolls, and we've been playing a lot of Valheim recently, and we are kind of obsessed. So I wanted to show you all my first ever nearly solo troll kill. I think the game's really deep and has a lot more content than I know about, so I think there will be a lot to cover. We do also have a community server, so if you want to come join and play with the mugs, all the info is in our Discord, which is discord.gg slash friendly. So feel free to which jump on in and what? join the community. And I really hope you enjoy this. What the fuck was that? Sounds like a flipping bear. So I want to let you know, right, the okay? original yeah. video he sent me <sighs> didn't yeah, include you know, the troll hunt. Time, it go. wasn't Holy in crap, it. Fred, we're f***ed. Fred, we're f***ed. It's a f***ing troll. It's huge. It's, it's huge. What? It's absolutely gigantic. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, you did next big thing. Fred, huge. Got the aggro. Yes. Got the aggro, so then he added some mm. EDM randomly. I've got the aggro and I'm cheesing him. Yeah, we sent him the video. Oh, we want to be about troll hunting. He How edited down a six-hour vod on, into something in, and I'm that he thought we wanted. And I was like, so, bro, on. we told you what we wanted. Let me show you the original original. I should still have that too. Um, I which... paid him for this. Yeah, I did. I've never paid, I've never paid someone. Uh, oh, he deleted it. Deleted it. He deleted it, it was, because it, it didn't so make bad. any sense. Um, well, no, it was just a bunch of random stuff. And if you look at like the end of this video, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe that was a bit so like... None of this is anything to do with that. I killed two and I got nothing. Chat. What? Chat, listen. Wait. Bro to zero. Really? Really, this game sometimes is just a bloody... You did a big miss? No, it wasn't a big miss. It was a small miss. Ah. I love Schmied. I love, I love Schmied. I feel like we need to make our house oh, a bit bigger oh. for more... Oh, I see. What? I okay. love Schmied. Yeah. That doesn't Money need to be barn. included. A barn? Mm. I love Schmidt. What the is this? Might be a good idea. Mate, we need the to go. Stored uh, barn. Exploring even further. Hey, welcome, AJ. Oh, oh, my goodness. The house has been overrun. Pain. But, like, none of this makes yeah. any sense with each other. By what? These big boys. Oh. They're everywhere. What, around our house? Practically. Oh, like, sure. just in our nearby areas. 
You gonna kill them all? Fucking dancing, yeah, I'm in the club. In the world's worst club. But like, none of this makes any sense, and it's full of random smacking transitions. It makes me want to cry. And it's a disaster. It makes me want to cry. Um, so I we did commission somebody else who has made a video that isn't quite like done. This was like the first draft. However, let's like watch the beginning of just, it. Just, just the very, just the, just the tip, chat. Just the very beginning, okay? And cute. Right? And then so, there's the troll fight. Yeah. And then after the <sighs> troll fight, like there's 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 a bit where like we talk about making stuff with the leather and then there's some funny bits That's and so it's bad. good and You're it makes sense. So yes, we have an editor now. Um so no by the way, talk, by the no way, the, random the, just, the new editor mm -hmm. is cheaper than the old editor. Mm -hmm. Just to let you guys know. I need some CBD after that. Oh, no, we're running out. Sorry, we've still got the whole other one in the kitchen. Um, yay, next big thing you won! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but basically, I don't even know if when we finish this video, if I'll ever even upload it. I don't know. I don't we know. probably will. Yeah, but sure. Basically... Some content's better than no content. I want to start <laughs> creating a two videos a week upload schedule where we have some videos in the bank, like... So that they can go up when mm -hmm. it's time. And um, I have been having, like, honestly, it's been the biggest frustration. And I'm so happy. Like, it feels like it takes months for everything to come together. But it's, like, actually coming together. Oh, I happening. think just random EDM throughout is great. I need my smacks. <laughs> I might have that. I might have that in an intro. I might just ask him to add a couple of smack sound effects as banter. Earlier. I know someone's got their fucking al sub alert as a smack now. Do you so. see me just... Bother the cat. She was just like, well annoyed. Um, uh, be, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, guys, at the end of the day, I, 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 I don't want to like tell people this on social media because I want to. I don't want. I want to help anyone. Like not for free. Yeah. Um, uh, consult me. Uh, pay me consultancy money. Consultancy, um, baby. But if you want to be a if you want to be a, a, a Twitch streamer, be a YouTuber first. Yeah. Get like get to the point where you're getting like a thousand views per video, then start streaming. Yeah, Saving up for sub alert, Casey Edwards. Please, no. Please. Oh, please. do it! I want to see what you get. No, but like, so the thing is, that's good news. Um, I actually have somebody else. <laughs> okay, this is the best meme ever. I push my fingers into my eyes. <laughs> Baby camera. Ah, oh, so cute. <laughs> I need to send it to Soph. She like that one too. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of pressure to do a good one. Yeah, it co you know it costs again to change it. Blooming Starlink downtime is chopping up your stream. You're on Starlink? You have Starlink? Ah, uh, how cool yeah. is it good? Satellite I mean, internet is bad not. for live streaming. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's bad for live streaming, but you know mm. what? I still think it's fucking cool. Yeah. Float is so cute, right, Mad Builder? Every... That's a fucking flex throttle. I know. I know. That's so cool. I actually, man, if, if Starlink was actually good and didn't have that much like uh, latency and stuff like that, mate, I'd be in Italy so fucking fast up a hill somewhere. Oh, God. Woo! Eating pasta. Apparently, the UK government is in talks with SpaceX with regards to Starlink. Cool. Probably trying to ban it. No, everyone's going to have too much fun and look up too much porn. Mate, we're right. We're about to be toe to toe with Texas in their no seven dildo rule. Apparently, what is it? Where is this? So apparently somewhere there's like a place. B2 Did anyone hear Yo. that entire message in an Australian accent? It was like four fucking years. Four fucking VB years. VB Longneck. Um, <laughs> apparently 
I think this is. In, I think they're still protesting in London or something. But a, a police officer has lost control of his canine, and, and the dog's is, biting him. The dog's attacking him. What have you done to this dog? What sir? are you doing? What? That's mental. You literally sent me a meme midstream. Yeah, we saw it, and we were like, Sophie would want to see that. Yes, it's a good one. It's a good one. Dog sniff out the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah, that dog's got good good taste. Maybe. BT's um, got the Omega mug. Yeah, it looks yes, good, right? Yes, let me see. I love our mug. It's such a moment. I think I might try and make something for the screen that's so that when people do get a new mug, it actually displays something on the screen. Might a be mug, fun. A large one. Huge. Like a like a Pokemon evolving or something. You think you can do that? Poor girl. Poor girl. I was very impressed. I mean, usually it's like us in paint trying to draw something out, you know? Um, I don't trust anyone that my dog doesn't like. What if you just have a bad smell? I appreciated it. I thought you would, Sophie. Fred was literally like, I've got to send that to Sophie right away. So I'm too complicated. I've got to yeah. send it to Ben as well. I've got to send it to. Yeah. Everybody needs to see the meme. You have to throw it away or you go to prison. Could animate the color change, then set it to match year. It matches year exactly, maybe. Yeah, I could. I mean, it's pretty easy. I just make ba basically. I can do it. It's pretty easy. Just it's make, easy chat. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna be. I'll be back. I just make a whole new alert box and only have alerts for when people transition into years, and then it'll just be up on the screen. Yeah, I could do. I pretty much do that. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Pasta. Oh, carbs. Emily, remember that conversation we had? Forget about it. Forget about it. It's only carbs from now on. Chat. Carbs make me into a crab. Yeah, you more alert bugs than stream elements. <laughs> yeah, Dean. Dean is unfortunately aware of how what my uh what behind the scenes looks like in stream elements on my on my uh <laughs> on my uh, browser sources. I'm pretty pretty sure he's aware of how bad it is. It is uh, a bit of a mess. But it works. So fuck it. I've got so many different like layers of like alerts. Like the uh, the fire is its own alert with another alert on top of it for the text. And oh my god, it's just all over the place, mate. It's all over the place, all over the fucking shop, bruv. So this dude in London's getting. What's going on in London right now? What is what is it? The pro more protests in London. Or is this just Birmingham? Is this just what's happening in Birmingham? Shit off. Fred, even when I came to visit you guys back at the start of 2019, this was before you changed a bunch of stuff. Looking at your OBS schedule in Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's very, it's very into, yes, it's hard. It's, mm. Our OBS uh, situation is, I mean, it's nothing compared to some people. Some people go literally like way too far. So what's going on right now? Is there a protest? I don't even know what's happening. I'm so confused, chat. I've become fused of con. Oh, well, fuck it. Birmingham, you mean shit out. That's one of the same, really, isn't it? What, did you see the dog bite the cop? I saw it on Twitter, mate. Um, someone I follow tweeted it out. Oh, Bristol. My God. But it's it's nearly uh, it's nearly nine o'clock. Surely they've all gone home for their for their tea in bed. Shit, yeah, Bristol. What the fuck's going on in Bristol? What What the fuck is going on in Bristol? Yeah, as I'm I've seen, I've seen you've got a lot of like things laid up on your OBS. I can tell just by looking at folks and shit going on in Bristol. Bristol is posh. What the fuck? I mean, it's full of, it's full of students, which is the problem, right? What? I mean, yeah, I agree with this. Yeah. So, all right. I see no lies. Right. Uh, yeah. No. A, C, A, B. This all checks out. Good. 
Uh, fuck. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, fuck cop. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So everything seems. Uh, I mean, everything seems like it seems like uh, Bristol's on the up and up. Really. What's happened? See in Bristol where per now a person's face with the police outside Central Station. Disgusting scenes in Bristol tonight. I fucking love it, mate. It's fucking brilliant. Fuck the poll. Mm. They make a good point, honestly. You can't really argue, can you? Are they throwing rocks at the police? Mate, the fucking testicles on these people. Holy shit. M. They're smashing up Bristol. What are they smashing up Bristol for? Bristol's I, nice. I don't know. But Bristol's fucked, mate. But they've got... Be... Oh, shit! Oh, yes, please. Yes. But we've... Is that... So this isn't connected to mask people who've been protesting this No, this, this, is, this is... the. They've got, like, basically, if, you, if, I go, if we go up, um, I was just saying... Um, oh, I've clicked on something Oh, now. I've clicked. Um... Holy it, shit! Jesus. Mate, Bristol go hard! Mate, Bristol go fucking hard! Holy crap! The day democracy becomes dictatorship? Yes. So... Man, if I research What Bristol. the fuck is going on in Bristol? So there is here of everyone at the Bristol protest tonight. Fuck yeah. So, right. What's been happening is... Um, with the policing bill... Is that basically... Right... Uh, a woman was murdered in the UK recently mm -hmm. by a police officer. When I say murdered, I don't mean, you know, like he was arresting her and happened to murder her. I mean, like he like jumped out of a bush, murdered her and hid her body and it was very bad. Um, and it's really shitty. So people were like, the police can't, don't do a good job of keeping their ranks free of assholes. The police go around fucking with people all the time just being troublesome. Right. Um, so, basically, um, but, wait, what? Hundreds of blacks are murdered in America each day. Wait, are you, what, what's happening over here? I've what? never seen you here before. Who are you? Where have you come from? What are you talking about? Best You're trying to be racist. More. I'm trying to explain myself. Um, so I got one more police intervention sets fire to police van. I mean, that's just, it's a protest, right? This is like a obviously like you don't a have guns in the protest. UK. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Are you you're wrong? Mate. Sorry about that. That's a that's a, that's what we call oh ignorance, right there. No, Literally, we, we do. My my dad shoots competitively. There's yeah. guns all over the shop. If you, you're not going to last no, here, you're no. not going to last very long here. So basically, um, in reaction to uh, a vigil, the police were for the specific woman. The I'll police were specialist specialist what we guns live, we, live, no? we live in the country bro no uh, i mean i'm just hang on what are you talking about making me yeah we we no, actually saying like we don't have we, guns we live like, in yeah, the country we, we live in the country we know more about the england than you do um nah but scotty when we were protesting the police were pushing us they were trying to kettle us mm. they tried to drag us they they, they were trying to like <clears throat> do all kinds of shit. So being like, oh, it's got to be peaceful. Like the police, when we were our very actually peaceful protest, yeah. the police were out there antagonizing, the were out there like intimidating, were out there like pushing people over and just being generally fucking havoc. Mm. Um, the police the police cause violence to happen. The police uh, push and push and push. Yeah, and that's what they were doing. That's when we left was when the police were trying to basically like fuck with us. But guns are banned also, in the UK. Also, fuck that. Because, like, honestly, genuinely, if the police are, like, saying that they can, like... Sorry. If the police can, uh, are saying that they can stop any protest for any reason, if it's too noisy, they can stop a protest, fuck it. I'm going to be violent. Oh. Fuck that shit. No, but I just want to... Like... One, yes, you were completely right. Yeah. Like, you were completely right. I just want to say, no one here is talking about America. I, I don't know why... No one's talking about guns or America. What do they say in the end? Like, guns Welcome are banned. America. And I was like, guns aren't banned... No one's in America. There's no one is talking about America. Planet, mate. It's fucking America. Like, this small little bit. Like, uh, like what, what, are you, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make, doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> um, first time they've spoken. It's really weird, right? How did they even get Welcome here? Welcome to America. Like, who's in America? No one here is in America. Well, I mean, some people in chat are, but no one you're looking at is in America. People yeah. on, I'm look. this isn't in America, and neither, mm -hmm. neither of us are in America. So basically, with the policing bill, what they, what, the Conservative government did in response to this is say 
that <coughs> the police should have more power, that they would remove the right to protest, meaning that um, protesting would cause you, uh, could be, um, protest could be like ended at any time if they were deemed a nuisance, if you're making too much noise, even protests traffic. of one person. Um, and you could face it for 10 years. Yeah, uh, and if you were at a protest after they decided you shouldn't be, you could have 10 years in prison, which is shit, right? So I am really interested to see what's happening here. So they delayed this bill recently after a bunch of protests. Yeah, we went to the protest on Monday. Yeah. And um, like two days after, after our protest and after like from um, Sisters Uncut and stuff like that, we basically, uh, it got delayed and it's not going to go through. But I don't know. I don't know why, the, why they're, I mean, I'm, I'm glad. Like this is, um, I mean, obviously like, I don't really understand why they're going so hard, but. But yeah. Um, they've got fuck, fuck the police and ACAB right in the back of this van and I see no lies. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, right, Phantom Lady, is that people significantly <clears throat> confuse licensing with banning. You can't just have as many guns as you want. And if he'd have asked, I could have explained it to him. Yeah. You can't just have as many guns as you want with as much ammunition as you want for no reason. If you shoot for sport, if you shoot for hunting, um, if you shoot for competitively, all of those things are perfectly good reasons to own guns as a hobby. Um, however, the police need to know who has the guns <coughs> and you must keep an appropriate amount of ammunition, right? Yeah, it's really weird that people are like, mm. oh no. Yeah, there's limits to how many guns you can have. There are limits to the size of the magazines. There are limits to the size of the weapon. There are limits to where you can shoot different guns. That being said, you can own guns. Honestly, like, everyone, everyone on online right now saying this is deplorable, this is bad, oh my god. I'm like, this is what happens when you try to wait, take away people's fundamental human rights. Mm. Protesting is a fundamental human right. It is a part of democracy. You mm -hmm. are trying to limit democracy. What do you think is going to happen? Literally. No, it is, it is a natural, normal part. Or not natural, that's not a stupid <clears throat> word to use for it. But it is a healthy part, is what mm. I went, of becoming, of, of being a democracy. Um, people are going to have issues with things and they need the right to protest them. Um, by removing that, we already are in a situation where we don't have a separation of powers. So our prime minister is incredibly powerful, way more power powerful in comparison than the president is in America. Meaning that we need the right to stand up and say, we do not stand for this, this will not do. Because otherwise you're in a serious position of completely having your rights removed and trampled by people who couldn't give a fuck about you. Um, yeah, so it's interesting, Johnny, because my dad, I guess, probably, I don't know, I don't speak to him, but he probably still does own guns. Um, and there's a lot of, like, paperwork you have to do, and you have to meet with the police every year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yes. taking a back by this bill, has uncle. It's a pretty big deal. I don't think people realize how big a deal this is. So yeah, it was huge. And, and like, it is huge. The thing is though, is like you kind of like said, like it might seem like so innocuous at first, right? It, innocuous, yeah. Uh, where you're sort of like, oh yeah, no. If a protest is like taking up too much of the city, and yeah, that should be it should be dispersed. But then, what do you get when the police start defining what they think a protest is and yeah. stuff like that? Do you know and what I mean? Basically, in light of the situations we've been having with the police over the last forever, um, with misuses of power, with abuse, sexual abuse, all this kind of stuff, you end up in a situation where um, also heavy racism, heavy yeah, racism, yeah where you end up in a situation where people are going, well, why, when the police are the ones acting up, are we having our rights taken away? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. No. Um, well, yeah, but that that's the thing, right, Scotty, is there's no one saying we should all super glue ourselves to trains. Like, you're arguing an unarguable point, right? No one is saying, <laughs> should I lose my rights or should I super glue myself to a train? Yeah, you know I, mean? yeah I mean, those aren't the polls. We aren't really like in the in the in the market for some uh, for some straw man arguing. Yeah, um, like it's just like no, like I, and honestly, it's such a shit time as well because because COVID is a thing. Luckily, it looks like Bristol's such a young city, and young people are not really affected by COVID nearly as much. So hopefully, it's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, it's, and they were also like lots of people are wearing masks. Almost, and I would hope yeah. that lots of people are wearing masks. 
But you can't deny that this extension of the rights for the police to put people in prison for, like, arrest people and for them to be charged and put in prison for up to 10 years Mm. for protesting is hugely bad. And giving the police more powers when they should be having less powers and sanctifying their powers more yeah. where we should actually be looking at piecing the police apart into separate different jobs. Well, that was the thing, It's right? crazy. Because me and Emily were literally looking at it on Monday and we were like, okay, we don't want to go out. We've been mm-hmm. so fucking well behaved mm-hmm. for the last year with COVID, right? Mm-hmm. And we went to the protest on Monday, literally because we were like, I don't want, like, I can't sit here and watch my country become fascist mm-hmm. and not do anything about it simply because I don't want to get ill. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's one of those things where I'm always going to be wearing a mask. I we wore, yeah. a, I didn't take it off once and um, all that sort of stuff. But, like, I was like, I have to, I have to go. I have to go. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This, is like, this is, like, literally affecting my life for, like, the next fucking ever. Yeah. You know? I'm just of the opinion that at the end of the day, most people aren't brave enough to get up and go out there and do this shit. This shit is hard and scary. Like, mm-hmm. when I was running around on Monday... I, you know, was near enough, like I was nearly grabbed by a police officer and I managed to run away and it was scary. It wasn't a fun experience. So I will always give the protester more of the benefit of the doubt than the police who like, yeah, one person may be acting like an idiot, but it doesn't really matter um, also, you try to take away people's fundamental human rights. Yeah. You, try to, you try to say that if we if we stand, if we protest and fight for, and uh, fight for our fight for our rights, we could face ten years in prison. Literally, fascism. Mm. I'm like, no, man. This is what you yeah. get. This is, this this is, is a is, huge, huge issue. This is your fault. Yeah, like police and government. This is yeah. your fault. No, this is a huge, huge, huge issue, and it's so dangerous, and it opens us up for so like such a fucking awful V for Vendetta future. Um, mm. I definitely didn't spend 90% of my downtime relaying information from scanners to protesters last year. Genuinely. Um, like, uh, I'm sorry if I'm at a protest and being the law before is changed and cop just grabs me, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, but that's the thing is I, we were getting kettled and we were running away and a police officer tried to grab me and I was like, well, he was like, came up basically like, I'm trying to get around him and I like sidestepped him twice and he was like, go home. And I was like, you and all. Yeah, I was like, and you and all, and just ran off. But um, it is not exactly shocking that you're going to get this reaction. I just feel like at the end of the day, unless a protester is doing something like super terrible, super aggressive, mm-hmm. like the point that we should look at is that people are angry and scared, not that one person is super glue or someone threw a firework or whatever other stupid shit. Yeah, or, or like, a, you know, like three people I'm not set a here police cr- fan on fire. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, it's bad. Like, honestly, yeah, it's setting a police fan on fire. Yeah, bad, sure. But is spray painting it bad? No. Is telling the police go to fuck themselves? No. Saying A cap bad? No. Like Yeah. And it's it's really fucked up. It's a really fucked up situation. Um and it's just one of those things where the police lack of respect during the vigil that was being held in Clapham and all that kind of stuff really exacerbated this. They were arresting people who were literally at a vigil. And when we were protesting, the police were pushing and pushing and pushing because they wanted to start some shit. Yeah. And it's one of those things where you'll see images like this and go, well, this is terrible. But it is interesting to see why and how mm-hmm. these things escalated to the place that they did. You're always yeah. going to get some people who, you know, will be viewed as like agitators and will be trying to be a bit aggy. But we had a whole bunch of people doing a whole bunch of shit and nobody was doing anything. And the police were also, trying to get really aggressive. No one ever records the police hitting you over the head of a fucking baton. No one ever no. records the police pinning you down on the floor and standing on your head. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No one ever records the police like pushing people, grabbing the weakest, no. like pinning down women and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like, then they show this mm-hmm. and it's like, well, this is a reaction to something. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the existence of police Policing is because the people want yeah. it, right? People, people like to think that this is a uh, this is spontaneous. Like this is just yeah. bad people doing bad things. Mm-hmm. Like no, it's a reaction to the police officer stepping over the line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I am interested in seeing what they were getting up to because it's really interesting mm-hmm. and kind of crazy. And hey, Flo, little pause. Um, I can't believe that's happening right now. Shamil must have been a bit slow. Mm. No. My worry is that over the last 40 years, the people have been increasingly less broken or disenfranchised. When push comes to shove, we must be prepared to shove. Literally, no one wants to hear you get squashed and squashed and squashed and you get underpaid and mistreated and treated like shit and treated with suspicion. And, you know, a fucking police officer murders a woman and you have to hear... 
all this shit about, oh, well, what was she doing? How was she walking? Like, in every... And you've got racism on racism on racism coming from within the police. And they keep doing all these internal investigations and finding, oh, it was one bad guy and he's been off for six months and now he's going to get back in. And it's bollocks. It's such fucking bollocks. And the fact is, you can't get squashed into some tiny little box where all you do is what net, watch Netflix and make somebody else money. Like, yeah. fuck off. It's also, you we, know? We, we like like to pretend like these police officers are like fucking noble, brave people. It's like, you're a police officer. It's a job. Do your fucking job. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I, people like to treat police officers like they're some sort of heroes or something mm. like that. I'm like, no. Like, you're not a hero. Mm-hmm. You're getting paid. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, it's like, and quit if you don't like it yeah. and all that shit. It's just really uh, sucks. This building's current form is taking away the shuttle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The NHS workers can't strike. The train drivers can't strike. Yep. The most powerful unions got busted in this bill were to the same to the rest. Yeah. Literally. Literally. And they don't they don't want any of that. They mm. don't want you being a part of a union. You know? Why are Uber drivers being paid now? You know? Why are they getting minimum wage? Why are they getting time off and pensions? Because of unions, right? We and this is the thing, is it feels horrible and it feels like you have no options and that you are fucked. But yeah. you're not fucked. And the more... Yeah, and they'll say, yeah, fight them in the ballot boxes. But when there is no... I think that's also part of the frustration for the more left wing of us. There is no one to vote for. No. There is no one to vote for. There are... The left vote is split between four equally lackadaisical parties. Labour being the, ma- the major one. Haven't what? had a decent... Well, haven't had a decent crack of the whip in years. And haven't had a decent leader post Jeremy Corbyn, they ate themselves from the inside to kill Corbyn. Yeah, they did. They, they, they literally burned them, like, burned their own parties to the ground. But there's no one else coming up. You know? They were abstaining from every fucking vote and then yeah. being like, oh, look what the Tories did. It's like, you abstained. Yeah, like, literally. You didn't vote against um, it. And you made, not only does the leader of, like, Labour right now, not only does he abstain, he also forces everyone else to abstain as well and it's fucking yeah. disgusting, dude. The whip is to abstain. It... But at yeah, go point, vote in your gerrymandered districts. It's so. But at what point, like, is the whip not just sort of like fucking the 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 voice of one person? Mm-hmm. Like everything's whipped now. Mm-hmm. I honestly think we should just fundamentally do away with the idea of whipping. Yeah, like it needs to be illegal. It needs to be so set. The everything's whipped. It's like, do you want to vote on like fucking do do we like have ice cream? Do we have chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? And it's a whip. It's like yeah, being like strongly vanilla. No, all chocolate. Chocolate's cheaper. We have to invent fucking new words, new kinds of. It's like a sec, a two line whip and a three line whip. Yeah, it's like it was. It used to be just just whip. Yeah, but the fact that none of the parties who could convince people when we had the opportunity to change our voting system, none of the parties could manage to answer and explain. Like, that was actually where you got a huge rise in, like, the mainstream media um, input in politics was when they were saying, right, well, maybe we should um, have a... Which voting system were they going to introduce? Uh... Single transferable vote? Single transferable vote, yeah. So where basically you'd say, I would like to vote for Labour, but if Labour doesn't win, I would like my vote to go to blank, right? And it means that less ballots go in the bin. Um, and the Conservatives push so hard against it and rich people push so hard against it because they have more power in the way that the way that things currently are, um, is that... Yes, Conservatives. And like without that changing, there's almost nothing we can do with the ballot box. It's ridiculous. Um Yes, yeah, so the whip is a person who goes around and you have a... Yeah, the whip is a position. You have a one, two, and three line whip, which tells you, right, either one line whip is vote how you please, which almost never happens. Vote with your morals, vote with your, your constituency in mind. A two line whip is we strongly want you to vote this way. <clears throat> and a three line whip is if you don't vote the party line on this, we you will never get in another committee you will be fucking dead to us. You'll be a backbencher well, to the day you die. Yeah. If also, there's also with three line whip. Sometimes, if you don't, if you go against the three line whip, you can mm-hmm. sometimes find yourself uh, not being a part of Labour anymore, which means mm-hmm. you're an independent, and independents don't get voted in. No. Yeah. Tories pushed against the same method they used to choose who leads their own party, but they were lying to people and they were saying, "Oh, it's like having two desserts." Oh, <gasps> I literally always imagine the whip as like in BDSM gear. 
I know, but it just sounds like it. You can't deny it. You just can't. So it's just one of those things where they will tell you, oh, don't protest. Fill in one of those um, change, not even change.org, like the government website saying, oh, do you do you feel this? If 100,000 people sign it, we'll discuss it in Parliament. And there'll be three people there going, and on the subject of whether uh, we should give the police more powers, some people had something to say on it, and they go, no, no, don't think that's worth discussing, and then that's it. Because what they want to do is put you in this little box where there's only two things you're allowed to do. Fill on a form on the internet or fucking um, vote in an election that deliberately splits your vote in 15 different ways and then throws it in the bin. Um, so, how poor is the best for, right? It's, it's literally cute. the best. Yeah. So, but it's chat, just one of those things where they're like, no get, protesting. Get politically involved, chat. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it is like, you'll find yourselves in a situation where if you can't, if you don't get politically involved now, you might not even be, have the choice later on because um, you won't be part of the right, right, right group of people mm-hmm. and you'll never have a voice and yeah. it sucks. And it's already that way. Every time you see people, like, read the fucking comments on that. Um, but this is actually going to be full circle on that Kardashian post where she like was like, hey guys, pay for my my friend to have 60 grand's worth of surgery because she's been in a car crash. And all these people are defending her. Like, why should she have to spend her money? It's like, because it would make her a good person. No one's saying, like, this is always the argument, right? Like, no one's saying you should have to. We're all saying you're a cunt if you don't. Yeah. And like, at the end of the day, I'm allowed to judge you for being an asshole. And people are running to defend a billionaire for not spending 15 minutes of her income. You know, I took a social credit. What the fuck is a social credit test? I've never heard of that. A social credit test. Is that a test. British thing? What's social credit test? What's that? What is that? What is that? Looking up social credit. Social credit? An ideology. It's an interdisciplinary and dis, uh, distributive philosophy to sub- developed by C.H. Douglas. It encompasses economics, political science, history, and accounting. The policies are designed according to Douglas to disperse economic and political power to individuals. So, well, how much you're allowed to be involved? So is this how much political clout you have? Coming negative, in at minus negative, 50? Minus 50 is bad. I Test? Sh- I was interested. It's definitely time to... Guys, uh, no, they have it in China. There's an article about it. Oh, what it would be like if it was bought in the UK? Oh, yeah, but it's... I mean, that might happen. But it probably won't happen. We should argue things that are happening. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Fight, was actually the, fight, fight Against was actually on the table, yeah. not what you think might eventually one day be. This cat is being so fucking cute, dude. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all, Deets. And people do win. Um, Guys, top of the hour every hour on a 30 second ad, but we also do a game giveaway. If you would like to win a free game, make sure that you type exclamation mark enter in the chat. If you're a tier two or a tier three sub, do nothing. You're automatically entered. That's the story. Pink. Yay, it worked. Um, What is this? First reply. How in the cinnamon toast fuck is Kylie Jenner asking for donations for her uh, makeup artist when she's a goddamn billionaire? Is that broad for real? And then just take a moment here to scroll through these comments. Oh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's like, I've never heard of cinnamon toast fuck. Well, you should have, Dwayne. What are you spending all your fucking money on, Dwayne? What are you? You don't even Get know the memes. cinnamon toast. Doesn't even, hasn't even. But he'll be like, oh, Jesus, take the wheel. What's that? Oh, my God, that was cute. Damn you, Florence. She calls him a friend, but it's clear he's an employee. She sent the equivalent of the cheapest floor arrangement. <laughs> literally. Oh, shove it up your ass. I literally. Oh, my God. She bought her two-year-old a $12,000 backpack for homeschool. That man is not her friend. Nope. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Chat. That's dark. If your friend, right, if your friend was dying, or like basically was like really hurt and you can give them five pence and it could solve all their problems. Would Wait, you do it? Would you do it? No, update. fuck it. Eh? Fuck it. It's his problem, okay. isn't it? Could you survive the social credit score? All right, go on then. Have you ever criticized government? <laughs> yes. Um, That's negative 75. We may take the ability to... 
Thirty percent of people chose the same answer. Seventy percent of people haven't criticized the government. People, seventy percent of people cringe, shit together. Bootlicking wankers. Would you change your day to day behavior based on what gives you a better? Okay, what do I get out of this social credit score? What's What's good for me? Because like. I can't change my day-to-day behavior based on what's good for my mental health, what's good for my physical health. Like, it feels unlikely. But, like, am I getting something good out of it, you know? Um, hey, yo, Ghana, congratulations. You won a free game. Spin in the world and find out what game you won. The game you won is indeed... Fake tactics. tactics. Hey, nice. piece of fake thanks. All right, would I, would I change my behavior? No, I would not change my behavior. Okay, fair enough. Um, 34% of people chose the same answer. Oh, Fred, you're losing us all our points. You should have said yes. Have you ever shared an article online without checking that it's factual? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. 25% of people say that's true. All right. Everyone Fucking is a lying asshole. Oh, such a lie, dude. 75% of people say they always check. How many hours a day do you spend streaming TV films or playing video games? Over six. Whoops. I mean, I am a streamer, so that's tough. I lost a 75 as well. Yes. Uh, okay. Have you ever disobeyed traffic laws when Don't driving? Don't have a car, never done it. Nope. Ding, ding, ding. Plus 75. 70, 65% of people chose the same answer. Lies. Liars. Have you ever crossed the road without looking both ways? No. I hope not. I mean, I don't, I think I look both ways out of, like, instinct now. But it seems likely I haven't. I, I do. It seems likely that I've done that. I, I have walked down a few one-way roads. <laughs> so, so, yes. So, oh, 75%, mm-hmm. 75% score gone. 54% said they hadn't. That's courage. Would you accept military service? Do, 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 no. Do, do, no. I'm too old, chat. Can keep up with it. Sixty-four percent of people chose the same answer. Oh no, my points. Have you ever missed a payment on a bill? No. Not any- everything's a direct debit. Not recently. No. I must look no because I haven't. Oh uh, no. I don't think I have. Mm. Direct debit, baby. I mean, we've got this. Like, I forget a, everything. It's a statue of limitations, mm-hmm. right? Are you good at saving money? Yeah. I mean, you have to be. Well, if you don't make any money next month, you get really ill. Streaming is one of those things. Bitch! Would you associate with people who are likely to lower your overall credit score? Uh, yes. Yeah. I lowered my credit score. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> All right. Bad. But we're not minus 50. No, it wasn't minus 50. But Not it also driving wasn't good. was good. Uh, unfortunately, your social credit, credit score would be considered bad to terrible. Based on existing versions of the scheme... Um, I may be publicly named and shamed as being a bad citizen. Maybe able to not able to get a good job. That's fine. Can't get a credit card. Whatever. Your children may be present pre- prevented from attending the best schools. Well, I don't know. None of these me. affect me so See, far. See, this is the thing, chat. Have nothing, and they can't hurt you. Limited public transport and airline access. Work from home. Throttled internet speed. Oh shit! We've ruined it. We oh. couldn't be streamers anymore. All right. So, like, being publicly shamed for being a bad citizen. Go fuck yourself. Stop for you from getting the best jobs. Self-employed. Uh, inability for credit cards. Not in debt. Um, don't have kids. No, getting in, getting in debt as a streamer is a big, big, big mistake. No, you don't get in debt But if streamer. I got no internet, restricted access to dating sites, married. So the only problem is I now need to get illicit, under-the-table internet. Fuck. Yeah. Wow, though. Whoever did that initially did a really bad job. Minus 50. Good God. Yeah, Christ. But honestly, I feel like I could probably get away with adding some points for crossing the road. I think I crossed the road all right. Do you know how many times I've been a run over, chat? Zero. That has to be points in my favour. Starling for the win, literally. Oh, shit. My, like, tinfoil hat trying to stream. Another big earthquake in Japan. Oh. Wait, that was yesterday. I already knew about this. I think it just had another jiggle. So it was a 7.2 yesterday and a 6.9 today. 6.9. So, 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 23 months. Minus 75 points for being run over. I've been over to run over twice. It's 150 gone from me. Oh my God, Fred, can you stop getting run over? Apparently not. That's ridiculous. Apparently not. Did a mock style as if the UK government was introducing it? It was very bonker. Oh my God. I know, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, chat. Um, get involved in politics. It's fun. Yeah. It's good. No, I have a contra- d- d- thing to say. Oh, wait. I'm twice divorced, so it definitely needs work range. Oh, no. If I've been run over twice, but both times, the car mounted the pavement. Where was this? 
You've Texas. been run over on the pavement twice. Remind me not to walk around in Texas. Is this Jesus. Texas or Yorkshire? Don't say it's London. Crashed my bicycle and broke my elbow. Ow! That's shit. How's your elbow? Just don't say it. Was in Lo- I knew you were going to say it was London, and I am going to factually say no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say is. it was London. It's no. not. It's not. It's Run not. over in London doesn't happen, mate. Uh, your credit score is lost. You've lost 500 credit score points. <laughs> So short. I'm actually not able to talk to you anymore. Friendly credit score point. You have lost uh, the ability to use Kappa. Your Kappa you've been Kappa restricted. Once again, the North is superior to the South. What, um, what do you mean? You guys can't even survive when you come down here. Literally, you come down here for like five seconds and you hit twice by your car. It's probably bounced off one, one, one bonnet on the other. Look, once on the back streets between Covent Garden and the square, once, out, once outside King's Cross. Made a soft- I will believe you in Covent Garden. Made a softer stuff up there, I'm telling you. Look, I've been run over. It was fine. I'm just kidding. I haven't. Deeds. I'm sorry you got squashed. That, that really sucks. sucks. That sucks. Um, just in case you felt like, you know, we're memeing too hard. Uh, but we can go outside in extreme weather without dying. We don't have any. I bet it's still snowing somewhere. People still sometimes post videos on my timeline and they're snowing. And I'm like, what? Why'd hey. you live there? Hey, Space Kitty. I gotcha. I went through, filled it out in such a way as to get the worst possible score, minus 275. Oof. That was what Harry Wookie got. No, you got Debauched. No, he said he did it wrong. Oh. I once drove through a red light at, um, at works that weren't being done, and it was fully open to two-way traffic. Well, that's a crime. That's a paddling. The, the, the episode about that that's on um, Black Mirror is actually quite good. You know, the one where mm-hmm. she gets, like, all the points, and then she's like, I'm free. Oh, from yeah, points. that was it's, good. I, okay, it's very good. I recommend watching it. However, if you have anxiety, it probably messed with me for, like, two weeks. It was the most stressful thing I've ever watched. <laughs> I don't even have anxiety, so I'm warning, if you do have anxiety, I was genuinely like, I can't watch Black Mirror anymore? How come? The last season was terrible. Yeah, last season was really awful. boring. Awful, the Miley Cyrus one and all that. That's entertainment and more forecasting the fucking future. There are some good ones. There's a couple. There was like oh, one man. where the twist was like the guinea pig saw the murder. That was really bad. That was so stupid. That was so I, bad. Uh, the one that gave me the most anxiety was the ones where it was like you were conscious but in a computer. So th- there's like three that gave me like proper anxiety. One was the Christmas special uh, where they basically had the guy, a simulation of his brain in a thing, in like a setting, and they had to go in there and it, like basically kind of like... um interrogate him to find out the answer so and then they were like oh he's a murderer let's leave this on fast forward for the weekend and we'll come back on monday but that was ten thousand years for him so he was stuck inside this small cabin for ten thousand years listening to the same song over and over mm-hmm. again that gave me anxiety another one that gave me anxiety was where the uh this guy was basically uh falsely accused of murder and he had his consciousness replicated over and over again and he was like being, they, they caught his consciousness at the moment he was being electrocuted and they trapped that moment forever. And you, they sold like bracelets, like like necklaces, where a part of his consciousness was just being electrocuted for all time. And that yeah, was, that gave me anxiety. That really fucked Fred up. That yeah. really fucked me up. I missed some episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Casey. And there was a, uh, there was the other one. There's a few of those. Where watch all of them except for the last season. Yeah, don't watch the most recent season. Okay, yeah, yeah, just walk away. Like, no, it was really bad, and it was a ba- It's a really good story though. Yeah. It's actually more uplifting than it seems because it's trying to solve the problem. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the one where she was, um, I think it's actually the same, it's the same same series, but the one where she got trapped inside the teddy bear. That was the worst. Jesus, fuck. That one fucked me up. That, that one was awful. Fucked me up. That Mate, one. they're all fucked up. That one where like the daughter's like getting spied on by her mum. That was awful. Oh yeah, Bandersnatch was so bad, just terrible. Oh, Bandersnatch was and so boring, and it was so triggering because like everywhere they went looked exactly like places I've been. Even the flat he kept jumping out of. I swear I've been in it, and it was weird because it was like it was like this was happening next door to me, but it was shit. It was interactive and it was bad. And it made no sense, and it was about video games. It was video mm. games, East London rubbish. Um. Uh. And as for bad UK weather, when I was at uni back in 2014, we had, we had huge storms. Uh, we had to evacuate half the halls of residences 
uh, because the waves were going over the top of the large student Whoa! flats. People on the bottom two floors, the basement, lost almost all their stuff to water damage. Shit. Had eight friends staying at my flat for a week because they were they had been evacuated. The sea was throwing rocks through the top. What? Why'd you go? Wow. Film the Croydon was it? Yeah, I actually remember that now. Yeah. yeah, they like did a bunch of it. Love to put my consciousness into a machine. No. No. Right, because you run out of battery, you're dead. But also, people can fuck with your consciousness. They fuck with your consciousness, mate. It's terrible. Um, it sounds it sounds all well and good, but also it's not you. It's a copy of you. You know what I mean? It is really interesting when you kind of think about like Aberystwyth, West Coast of Wales. Yeah. Now, when you think about like what of you is actually being saved, and the fact that you are actually mm. dead, it's like well, how oh, much shit. is a fucking simulator? And how much can you? But how much can you scan a brain and get all the details? Do you guys know how you get your mood right? So you got synapses right, and they send in kept. So you got like two fucking nerves, right? They send, they send, like you shoot little electrical signals over to each other. Do you know how you get your mood? You put little fucking, you put what you eat in between it, and as it shoots it over, what's in between, like the little fucking suction cups of like neurons, basically what's in between them changes what you think about. And I'm like, well, how the fuck are you simulating that in a computer? And how do you know what I'm thinking about right now? It's bullshit. We th- we don't even understand what the brain does. We don't even understand what it is. No, like, I mean, you kind is- of have to accept that they know at this point that you're scannable. I don't trust it. Um, it's bullshit. If you're in a matrix of consciousness, you'll never know if anything's real. I just feel like if they put my consciousness into a computer, here's what we've done. We've got a copy of Emily, and real Emily's dead. You know? Coke I did a good video on it, yeah. Um, yeah. Coke I do all good mm-hmm. videos. Really, very good. Now. What was your controversial opinion, Em? I don't know. I'm peckish. Peckish? My controversial opinion. I was going to say, well, I think we've had a good chin wag today. I know it's a shorter stream, but I think we're both tired. I'm tired, and fuck it. Look, chat, I've got a lot of YouTube and behind-the-scenes shit to work on, and I'm tired. I'm tired. We're not even going to play a video game today. We've had a cracking bitch. We've really aired out a lot of shit. We've called out streamers, politics, everything. Yeah. And I feel like I would like to be back on Tuesday refreshed and ready. I've had a proper good whinge. It was excellent. Excellent whinge. 10 out of 10. Do it again. Man, I didn't know you were going to be a horse vet. That's the best. Horses are suspicious. They'll kick you. Emily doesn't like horses. Um, They're too big. They'll kick you. You'll die. Don't go near horses. But no, I think that's going to be us for today. Um, Very therapeutic. You missed most of the wind session, Jeffo. I'm sorry, dude. It will all be available on Friendly On Demand, the YouTube channel, and um, exclamation mark VOD. You can even see it with chat. Yeah. So we're going to be off tomorrow because it's our one can, day a week off. We should sell out for Dean's thing so we can show you guys what it does. Oh, yeah. Guys, um, definitely go over to... Uh, blip, blip, blip. It's not VOD. It's VOD, right? I'm going to go give Flo some treats. So there's stream streamvods.com, right? Ooh. Hype. That one's from Reese. Has on coup, yeah. Um, an extra one. She's gonna, she's gonna come out now. Guarantee it. Oh, prove me wrong, Flo. Prove me wrong. I tried not to crinkle the bag at all as I walked back over, so as not to set her off. Um, there you go. Instantly awake. Flo is literally like crinkly bag. The only problem with like the VODs, right, is that because they take the thumbnail from the first few moments of the VOD and I'm always on the stream on my own yeah. to start the stream, it's all just me. I so like that one that just says McDonald's. <laughs> but chat, if you go over to stream VODs, uh, exclamation mark VOD, you can actually watch. So they've got all chapters and stuff like that. It's yeah. really fucking cool. And if you click on it, right, not only do you get to see it in lovely quality and you can skip through, like that's the just chatting bit and then blah, blah, blah. But... Oh, you paid for it, eh? I see it. Oh my god! Oh, Virgin me! Thank you so much, dude. So I will go and deliver her some, guys. That's a game giveaway for you. Treats for everyone. Um, and yeah. So not only can you see literally the stream, you. Oh. You also get the chat like it regularly is, so you can see, just like you do on Twitch, what everybody's saying, how everybody's reacting, and you can watch it with chapters like it is on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So, so exclamation mark VOD, and they're all listed, and you can, or, or you can go on the YouTube channel where we also have them by um, 
uh, different games. So you can look at game categories. You, we've got playlists if you just want to watch Sea of Thieves or you just want to watch GeoGuessr. It's really nice um, as well because the YouTube player is a bit better than the um, Twitch player. So yeah. it's actually more smooth yeah. on uh, on YouTube. And it's got better Twitch TV emotes and everything. Yeah. It's very, very fucking cool. So yeah, you can catch up with us because we will not be here tomorrow, but fear not. There is tons of content. All mm-hmm. the content from October until now is stored. So you can basically pick anything and just yeah, go for I, it. I am. You can rewatch some Valheim. We've got, we've got a lot saved, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I go back. So, uh, so good. I was always, I always used to dislike the fact that we would lose a lot of our, like, basically a lot of memories are lost and a lot of good mm-hmm. VODs are lost. And um, we've got them saved. Like, this is, goes all the way back to the beginning of this year. Mm-hmm. So from, from yeah. the 1st of January this year, we'll never lose another VOD. Yeah, and the rest of them are on, from October to January, they're on YouTube. Yeah. So if you want to go pre-Christmas or Monkmas time, you can. God, look, this one's um, even, like, live right now. What the fuck? Oh, it hasn't, hasn't... Wait, was that today? It's today the 20th? No, that was yesterday. Poggers. Dude. Yeah, Dean, we're just showing people how it works. Isn't it good? I mean, you know it's good. You made it. Um, but yeah, so like chat's there and like it will fill up like normal. No, it's not, it's, not, it's uh, not fully rendered in yet. Yeah. Loopy Louie, congratulations on winning the game. Um, I'm going to go deliver Flo some more treats in a second once Ooh. we've done this because Verge said Verge give me. us some treats. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, I just wanted to shout out um, our supporters from this week. Um, hang on, let me just like fast forward so you guys can actually see uh, uh, one of the things we're doing. So this is when Emily got Nora migraine. That's when Florence vomited everywhere. Yay. This was a fun day. So uh, I want to say a big thank you to uh, Manda RN, uh, Mandarin, who gave 10,000 bits. Insane. On Tuesday, first day of the week. Mm. I actually haven't seen her since. Quite strange. Um, Verge Me with 8,900 bits. Loth with uh, 6,500 bits. Uh, Deets with the two two and a half K. Relu, Candy, Dean, Kinseris, Riot Girls Gaming, all with 1,000 bits plus mm-hmm. each this week. And Spider Mooses with 600 bits. Thank you very much. And our top sub gifted of the week are absolutely insane. Insane. Um, don't know if you want to read this out. So number one, I don't know if you guys can guess who it is, but we have Vajermi who gave us 82 subs. Squeeze up the order now. What? Oh, you little shit. Well, you're not getting reread out, that's for sure. Thank you for the bit. Clockwork Sumo with 20. Third, we have Loth. Right? Lothriel coming in with 15. They're the same freaking household. They're the same household. Unhinged. Um, then we have Bane Games with 10. Black Phazon with 10. Scouse Games with 10. All incredibly generous. Deets with 6. Peachy with 6. Jez with 5. And Shavant with 5. Guys. Not even a single one on there. Leaving us with a uh, very, very amazing and very awesome... Juicy 1,223 sub points. Um... Fuck a yard. I moved the treat bag and her eyes just open. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. So she's getting. Virgin Marie, dude. So you're now number one in both categories. Dude, you are absolutely bonkers, bro. These are your treats, by the way, Veg. So, yes, if you ever come into the stream and we're not here, we're not live, like we won't be tomorrow. Oh, perfect. Powder your nose and shit in it. <laughs> you need to powder your nose and shit in it. <laughs> All right, chat, if you guys want to go play some some Jackbox games with uh, Deets, head on over to the Discord. Uh, Deets has got <laughs> yeah. that shit in her own nose. And then... Yeah, in looking for group, but also you can just go hang out in the yeah. tavern and chat some shit and have some fun with Deets. What can I say? I love you guys. Um, what can I say? There's nothing I can say. No. This shows you how appreciative I am. Um, what can I, I say just except... Thank you. I want you all to know, it has obviously been an amazing week. Thank you so much. Uh, like I just the vibes are great yeah thank you for the support thank you for the generosity I love being here and hanging out with you guys and things are looking up the next like month in the stream should be like stuff will be happening um and obviously if you were missing us Mm -hmm. um and you want to catch some 
either go sub on Fremily On Demand or if you want the better experience, exclamation mark VOD in the chat anytime and it will link you. Exactly. Right? Just come in, type exclamation mark VOD and you will be able to watch any stream anytime you want. Um, Remember the biker Fred? Biker Fred? Remember the biker Fred? I don't, Bruce. Biker? The biker? Biker mice from Mars? No. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, Flo is very happy with the treats. So, yeah, make sure that that is where you're watching your stuff. Dean's been working on it. If you have suggestions and things that you would like to see happen. Yeah. Bite your groove. The beginning of the stream. Hey, hey Max, Max Mark. Mark. 33 months. Thank, Thank you very you much for the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. And we, I guess, are going to go away. Jump into Discord. Go play Max some Mark. video games together and hang yeah. out with Deets and have fun. And we will... No, you guys See have been you amazing. All on Tuesday. Uh, thank you for a really amazing week. The vibe has been amazing, even though it's been a blooming crazy week. Like with our, like you know, us going to London to protest mm -hmm. and all the stress and all the stuff and stuff like that. You guys have just been the best. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Did you guys literally just start a hunk train? You just started a oh. hype train so we can't leave. You guys are a terrorist. The best. You're oh. beautiful. I, I love, love you. Guys. You're ridiculous. No, we're gonna rest so tomorrow we're gonna rest up a lot. Um yeah, therapy is really important, honestly. Yes. I I've been very I've, you know, you gotta be open about that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Like let everyone so it's so important. Um but uh don't you hiss at me. But um, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna rest up. We're gonna we're gonna be ready and ready to go. Next week's gonna be a cracker. We're gonna work mm -hmm. on some behind the scenes stuff. So that we got um, no leave, only honk train. We are not leaving until well, the honk train's done. I won't leave till the train is done. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna sort out some YouTube videos. We're gonna do some planning for that. So not only we're we gonna produce some content here, but also over on YouTube, it's gonna be great. Tactically Scam tram. Yes. Scam that's tram. extra French. Mate, I'll put it on the countdown screen and I'll just let you guys do an off screen, off stream giveaway for this. You guys and your scam tram. Um, uh, due to a bug, Reese, then I would just leave. I would never <laughs> stop streaming. That's all there is the to it. The longest sub train of all time. You got therapy this week too? Oh, Norse. Fuck yeah. Therapy is nothing to be afraid of, guys. If you guys do find yourselves uh, with anxiety like I am mm -hmm. or depression like a lot of people do, um, yeah, one, two, two, two. Good two, stuff. Two, two, um, two, two. Go to therapy, guys. Therapy is great. I, pretty, yeah. I think it's fucking awesome. I love therapy. I do therapy on my phone with my therapist uh, where we FaceTime each other. That's very cute. Um. Hey guys, you've been, I just want to say thank you. You guys have been absolutely cracking this week. Um, you guys always are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, this week especially. I think last week was crazy too. We apologize for the late arrival of the high train. This was due to a fault with the chapter. Oh, but <laughs> to I, think. I, um, Florence, stop being so damn cute. I think by the time this hype train's over, you guys might have to, some Jackbox to go play over in uh, LFG. Yeah, guys, after Deets has finished shitting in, in Deets her, is actually um, already in LFG. I want you guys to go, all go over there now and join mm -hmm. Deets in looking for group. Go have some fun. Yeah. Treat yourself to a little beverage or something like that. Yeah. And, um, ah, oh man, you guys have just been so... so it's stream I feel like the stream's in the best position it's been ever. Like, we have such a good, solid community of people. Like, such a good... I'm, I'm really, like, chuffed. Yeah. Yeah, no, self-esteem issues are a fantastic thing to like work oh, on. Mate, I'd love some self-esteem. Be great. Yeah, no. I mean, usually when you've got self-esteem issues, like even if your issues you don't feel like huge, having that opportunity to like talk them out with somebody in like a neutral manner, it can help you so much in either realizing like where things come from, how you can handle them more easily. Like there is so much. Hey Kirk, um there is so we've got a good community here and Scarface. And Scarface. <laughs> no, there is so much good work that can be done even on things that don't feel like, you know, you don't need to be in therapy for the rest of your life. Like some people are, but that is not the standard. No. You know, you usually, like I know that in The Sopranos, Tony Soprano came in every week for the entire show. Um, but that's not necessarily how it, it is. Storytelling tool, wasn't it? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I was like, I know people are like, well, he was in it. But absolutely, oh, he is. Like, I'm approaching the end of my therapy now. Mm. I feel like I'm on like the last like few like few sessions, and um, yeah, no, a hundred percent. But that's the thing, right? That all feeds into like anxiety, low self esteem. Those things are bad. Mm. Getting high self esteem is good. It's difficult though. 
Ah, oh, it was a little cat. We got Florence. She's like, I'm the night. All right, Jack, the type train's coming to an end. We've got a minute left. Get ready, because after the type train, we're going to be doing a game giveaway. Game giveaway. Yeah. I Tony Sprunner could afford $500 a week, though. That's not how much therapy is. I don't know. Maybe maybe his therapist was that much money. $500 a week? Sweet Jesus. How much do you think we're paying? She's asleep. Florence is like, I've had several treats. It is now time a ther- for Therapy sleep. usually costs, you can get a therapist for like 40 quid a week. Mm-hmm. Like 40 quid a session, I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, and you do that once a month if you want to. Yeah, you know I mean, America, y'all. Oh my God, no! Come on. I guess there's not a lot of good mafia insurance plan, is there? Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out. Radio Thanks, com. Radio Com. Thank you, everybody, for a hilarious and uh, good stream. It was a good rant. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It mm-hmm. was a good chin wag. Uh, Dre, I feel you on that one. Once you go to therapy, you're like, man, everyone should fucking go to therapy. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny when I, because I went to therapy first. You know, I started. I was a trailblazer, and then Fred went. Um, I'm just kidding, but like, I was like, Fred, I think you would benefit from therapy. And Fred was like, I don't know, maybe. And then he went and was like, Ah, oh, she. Oh shit. Um, which was good. Oh uh, yeah, the bonus. So she doesn't spill any. Beer. Yeah, she's got like the. Uh... Chat, that's a level two hype train. That's a level one hype train. Guys, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we were talking private. Time. Obviously, NHS is slower, but free. Whereas if you, we, we just went to someone, you know, different people, obviously. Um, I'm glad it was worth it. Chat. Final giveaway of the week. The last giveaway of the week. Thank you. I guess. Do we want to uh, let it ride itself out? We can. Um, we can let it ride itself out. Sure. Why the fuck not? Chat. Chat. Again, Discord Deets is going to be hosting a, uh, a community night over there, yeah. playing some Jackbox. And reminder that if you are a tier two or a tier three sub, make sure you have typed in exclamation mark, have I won? And you claim any games you have waiting for you because you know for sure there are some. <gasps> Come play games, y'all. And I'm going to go and cook some dinner because I am fucking starving. Rav, uh, mate. Chat. I Rav love you. Ford. And we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Ciao. Ciao.